Y'all can't hear me? I can hear you. You low. It, it, it's low. I don't know turn if your mic. mic's far away, but... Yeah, turn your mic up a little bit. Hey, you you low. Mm-hmm. Turn me up yeah, in the headphones. Yeah. You, you a merchant now. Mm. Turn me up in the headphones a little bit. <laughs> so, I can hear, so I can hear your rhymes. You Tony Tone, leave me alone. What up, brother? I got, I got a question. I got a question for you guys. I got a question for you guys. What's up? So I got a message. I got a message, and it said, yo, I saw this dude in a waiting room in a hospital. And I was like, yo... You're that dude. You're the dude from from YouTube. You're uh, that fluent dude, right? And the guy's like, "Nah, I, I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about." And so I got an angry email being like, "Yo, why don't you say what's up to people?" I'm like, "I wasn't there." And he says, "You sure this ain't you?" So here's the here's the, here. It... That is not tone. No, it's not. <laughs> Hey man, not, I would I would have walked up to you and be like, "Now nah, you're more fluent too." I ain't gonna lie to you. I would have walked up on you too. That's so like doppelganger material. We need to kind of look like you though. right now. That's not tone. That's that Earth three five eight fluent right there. That's what that is. That's <laughs> like who that is. Like, because they be, they were sending like a bunch of pictures. Like, are you sure this ain't you? I'm like, dude, that's not. That's not. That's yeah. I don't know. Dama, what up, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Big Ox, what up? Chilling, man. Tony Tone, leave him alone. Anyways. Wait, Floyd, you, shoot, you shoot with your right or left hand? Are you right or left handed? I may be dexterous, but mostly my right. Mostly, okay. So if somebody did, if somebody knew that, if they know that and they thought you was a left hand shooter and the lefties taped up too, I'm I'm walking oh, up he too. Broke, yeah, he broke his hand. He broke his hand. Yeah. I'm like, nah, my hands are good. See? Mm-hmm. All good, all good. Ron in the house. Ticket in the house. All right. All right. I, I, all I know is that's a good looking dude out there. I don't know who that is, but he's a good <laughs> Yo. Hilarious. Yo. Yo, fellas, it's the start of the summer. Y'all ready for this? Let's do it, yo. Narrative hey, off seasons? I love it. Yeah, I'll see, see y'all right, in the summer school. <laughs> I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to make. When you ask that question, you're gonna ask us. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make uh, tickets blood pressure boil. Mm-hmm. It's too early. It's too early. It's never too early to get started. <laughs> never. All right, hey, fellas. Wait, so, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Man. Hey, right, right from the get go, I got a couple super chats. I'm gonna jump in there. I'm gonna be a good host today. I promise y'all. So what we gonna do is we gonna go to my man. I like buttons. He said. What would you rank your top five finals MVPs all time? Bro, I like buttons. Burritos, oh. bro. That's burritos. Right. <laughs> Man. Hey, it's seven o'clock where I'm at. Mm. <laughs> but I do like buttons, though. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Top five finals MVP of all I have to think about that one. I ain't never thought about that. I have to think about that one. Jokic is up there though. Shout out Jokic. Jokic in your top five, five MVPs, Finals MVPs. Yeah, he's probably like five, four or five. If I had to think off the top of my head, I haven't. I, that's something I've never even thought about. Over, over Dirk, over D Wade, over Bron when they when they came back. I would definitely say over D Wade in my opinion. I'd say over D Wade in my opinion. Yeah. Over over all three Shaq performances in the early two thousands. I gotta see the numbers. Probably not all three Shaqs. Over yeah. over Olajuwon in '95, probably not over Olajuwon. So what that puts? What did I say? I said Jokic. I will take a Kim. Uh, did I say Dirk? No, I didn't say Dirk. So that's three. I'll take a Braun performance. That's four. So the fifth would be. Am just I so you know, Chan- j- j- just so you know, in, in, in '72, Chamberlain averaged 20 and 20 in the finals. I just want to put that on your mind. Was that on tape delay? It it, it was. <laughs> on tape delay. I ain't count no, they had a sketch yeah. artist. Yo, chill. It was it was exactly twenty and twenty, or it was twenty and some change. It was it, it, it was it was nineteen and twenty two. Mm, okay, okay. Uh, are we going? Are we doing like just? Yeah. Uh, so I'm just not number, number one. Number one. Number one is ninety three Jordan. Like then he put up like forty one in the finals. Yes, he did. Six mm-hmm. and like nine mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, Ridic- well, yeah, Jordan be up there as well. Mm. At number five, at number five, I really want to, and I know it's probably not the fifth best because they lost, but I really want to put Jerry West just in the top five, like the winning gears, a finals MVP, gears. putting up those numbers he we put up. We can't do that, Flynn. I know, I know, I know. We can't applaud <laughs> losing. That's, that's what I said. I, I, I mean, they did applaud losing though. Hey, it's a Finals MVP though. They they applaud losing though. He got it. And he averaged thirty eight a game that series. 
I mean, that's a yeah. Awesome. Is that, is that the most? 40 point triple double no, in Jordan. a loss of game seven. He had a 40 point triple double in a loss in game seven. Like, what more could he do? In he could have passed the ball to Chamberlain a little bit more. Chamberlain averaged less than 10 shots a game that series. They probably would have won had he done that. <laughs> they very well could have done that. He went he nine for 10 in game seven. He's Chamberlain took. Chamberlain only took 10 shots in that game. He missed one shot. Why they didn't go to him more? I'm still haven't gotten a satisfactory answer for that to this day. I'll st- I'll still, I'll still because everybody, everybody who was alive to see that is dead now. That's why you're not going to get prob- it. That's probably why. <laughs> Dom Austin, I still, I think I still got to go with uh, that 06 star. D D Wade carried. D Wade over Jokic? You D Wade carried. Right. Now, remember, again, too, I, that's off the top of my head, just. Mm-hmm. Impulsive reaction. I will have to go and look at the numbers. The numbers could easily favor D Wade over Jokic, and I can admit I'm wrong and draw it back. I, I'm not going to hear mate be like my list is the final list. Mm-hmm. I, I, do, I do have to look into. I'm, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not even sure about the numbers. I'm just. I just. I, well, really speaking of the numbers, I didn't. I didn't want to misquote, so I just. I want to run them back for you for the for the Jordan in '93. Forty-one points per game, six point three assists per game, eight point five rebounds per game, one point seven steals per game on fifty from the field and forty from three. That's pretty impressive. <sighs> Yeah, like if, I know it's more than numbers, but if you look at the numbers, that was crazy. You ain't even got to run down the numbers, Tone. In that series, he was fantastic. Oh yeah, he was phenomenal in that. He had a fifty-five point game, which they needed every bit of those fifty-five in order for him to win, because he was going toe to toe with Barkley. Did Barkley have like a forty yes. fifty point? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Barkley went for forty-two in game two. So yeah. George, Jay just Jay crazy. just ultimately outplayed him, no doubt about that. Um, and that's the most. That's the most per game right there. Big Ox, you got to remember. You got to also remember too, Big Ox, when you when you're talking about D Wade in 06, you got to remember too that Shaq was getting doubled and triple team, which gave right. D Wade an avenue to get to the basket. They basically dared him to knock down the mid range the entire series, and he did that. They dared him to knock down the mid range the entire. Now, don't get me wrong, it wasn't like D Wade was just left wide open the entire time. No, they had to deal with him, but they put so much attention on Shaq that it made it a lot less difficult for D-Wade. So when people say stuff like D-Wade carried Shaq through the finals because he only averaged 14 a game, well, he was getting doubled and triple teamed the entire series. Right. Well, I still, I mean, that's – so I don't necessarily mean carried in a derogatory term. I just feel right. like, you know, Shaq, Shaq getting – you know, the attention he was getting from who was down there, Eric Dampier and those guys um, – that was Dan Pierre, I believe, in all six years. It was. So, Every Dan So, Pierre. I mean, for, the, for, the, for him to be getting, you know, triple team, being able to rely on uh, D-Wade, I mean, that's right. to me, like, if, if I am if I if I can't get it done because of any circumstance and you get it done, and you you on my team. So, if you carry, I'm, I'm fine with that. We got the done. Yeah, he was like, rolling with it, too. He was. And I commend Shaq for that because you got to mm-hmm. think two, three years previous to this, he's getting finals MVP. So, for him to be able to come on, come on, young fella, let's, let's go. You know, I, o- think, o- I think that's o- plus o- Wade, 35, mm-hmm. four, 35, 4, and 8, 47% from the field. But this is the most impressive. 2.7 steals per game. That's crazy. Right. People, people forget that young D-White was playing defense. Crazy. He was in the passing lanes. He was he was up in the air. So yeah, Locking sending shots, shots everywhere. Hey, uh, Mars, the question is, and Chill, I'd like to hear yours too, from I Like Buttons. He said, what would you rank your top five finals MVPs? Um, ever, mm-hmm. ever. Yep. Uh, ninety three Jordan. Um, two thousand Shaq. Mm. Two thousand and one Shaq. <laughs> um, twenty sixteen LeBron. Mm-hmm. And ninety two Jordan. <laughs> Um, no, but Giannis up there all time, number five. Yeah, amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And see, Damo, this is this is what happens, right? When, when when we have stuff that just happened not too long ago, the recency bias kicks in. Yeah, yeah the we, recency we, we, bias we always forget about what, what, what happened in years past. Yo, we forget about that stuff. We really uh, do. That that last spot is tough, like. I don't know who I'm gonna go that long. I, those four, I'm I'm pretty comfortable with. Those four. Applaud losing put in Jerry West. <clears throat> uh, well, someone so, someone in the someone in the chat said 2003 Duncan, and I like that pick. So I'm gonna go. Who, shout out to Anistius in the chat. 
I'm going with 2003 Duncan. I just realized I didn't say any Hakeem finals, which, eh. No, nah, 2003 Duncan. So 93 Jordan, um, 2000 Shaq, 01 mm-hmm. Shaq, 2016 LeBron, and 03 Duncan. Those are the, those are the ones mm-hmm. I'm going to go with. And then, yeah. and then one, another thing, though, Fluent, so with, you know, going off of what she was saying with um, Shaq being, getting double teamed, um, I don't know, 95 Akeem, didn't Clyde damn near average a triple-double in those finals? I, I don't know what Clyde like, averaged, but Clyde played well. I know Clyde. Played yeah, he did. Well. I think it was something like twenty-two. I think it was something like twenty-two eight or twenty-two seven and 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 eight or something like that. I I I, I can't say with one hundred percent certainty, but it was something to that effect. But oh, okay. I can't leave. Me. I can't leave out the thirty-three and eleven that Elijah Wan went off. Yeah, I think yeah. it was thirty-three eleven and like almost four blocks. Something something crazy like that. But two blocks. Two blocks. Two Annie, blocks. Annie had a Annie had a quadruple yeah. double in the closeout game, which they didn't yeah. give to him. But That's he got a quadruple insane. double in that game. I mean, yeah. Was Mars. it two blocks or three blocks, Tom? Two, two, two blocks. blocks. Okay. Two blocks, two steals. Okay. Two blocks and two steals. So when I think about the top five, the 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 guys that Mars brought up, I'm I'm putting Jay at the top in '93. I'm gonna go Shaq uh, 2000. I'll go. James 16. I'll go Shaq 2001. I've never seen Shaq so angry in all my years, man. I've never right quick, chill. Is, is that top three just unanimous? Do we need to not talk about anything else outside of 93 Jordan, 2000 Shaq, and 16 uh, James? I'm putting, I'm, putting, I'm putting both Shaq performances over LeBron's. Me I, I think, I think those three, over. though, Ron, I think those three, 93, 2000 Shaq, and, and 16 LeBron, they're in, those are in the top five, whether you have them one, two, three, 100%. four, five, six. Those three are 100%. Of, they, 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 are the are, they are 100%. Three. Those three mm-hmm. are in for sure. I think that's unanimous. 2000, okay. two, 2001 Shaq, to be honest with you, I've never seen him more angry. And I've seen him angry before, but I, Ron, when I tell you that he had his teeth grit, Jermaine, wait till I see this dude. I'm going to kick his mother. He was cursing. And he don't get like that. Like, even when the playoffs start, like, he'll get a little angrier. But when the, when the, when the finals started, especially when he heard Matumbo say that, yo, he don't want a double team, man, he was like, Jermaine, when I see this dude, oh, my God, you just – Wait till I see this dude. I'm going to give him the business. I was like, boy, you in trouble now, man. You up, you up against it today. And for him to come out and dominate him like that, I told him after that series, I was like, I don't care if you ever win another. I'm sorry. I don't care if you I don't care if you ever win the NBA championship again. What you did to Matumbo, I can watch that all day long. That was incredible. Now, the fifth one gets a little tricky for me because the fifth one is a number of different guys you could put in there. I'm a big fan of what Chamberlain did in 72. I am. Considering what they did that whole season, winning 33 straight games, and him coming out in the finals after they lost the year two years before to the Knicks, Magic in 87, that, that was a big deal. And the fifth one, the fifth one gets a little tricky for me, but if, if I had to pick one, it would be a large one in 95. And and even though Shaq was a pup. And Shaq was still, he was on his way to becoming that dude. 95 was, because he knew, Lajuan knew that if we're going to do it, I got to do it now because this big dude, he on his way. And I'm not going to be able to do this in a couple of years. So 95, 95 Lajuan, I think is, a, is definitely a top, for me, it's a top five finals performance of all time. Okay, okay. Yo, Ticket, what's your top five finals MVPs? And is LeBron in there? No ticket TV in the house. Ticket TV is not in the house. Ticket TV is not in the house. I agree with Ticket's top five. That was a good talk. Hey, don't come <laughs> on. I'm feeling it too. W Lish. Definitely. Uh, I'm feeling it too. Do you think Kareem's, right, do you think Kareem's, do you think Kareem's gets uh, ignored because of um, like it was in 70, 71? What, 71? No, um, I, just, I don't think he gets ignored. Well, I think it was well, impressive. Okay, may, maybe it does get ignored, but I don't. I don't think like I don't know how to say this as respectfully as I can. No, I don't no, know so how. You, that's no, what I'm saying. Control, I, 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 you ain't got to worry about being respectful. I, I, I don't. I don't know how much people respect the Baltimore Bullets of 1971. That's really that's well. That's my, that's my point because of the comp, right? When you put up, look, if you put up 27, 19 on and three on 60 percent shooting, people are talking about it. But I think right. it gets knocked down, right, because of who it was and when it was. 
Is that, yeah. is that fair? No, that, that's my assumption. But I wanted to ask, instead of the top five finals MVPs, what's the five worst? Five worst top worst top finals MVPs? MVPs? Easy. Yes. Iggy. Jerry West. <clears throat> Jerry West, I agree. No, Jerry you West lost. lost. I'm yes, sorry. Talk. That's one of the worst. Oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on. No, no. But you know, yes, you, you, I, I, I know I know why he won it. I know why he won it. They assumed the Lakers. You can't put it in the worst list because it but, was yes, it was voted yeah. on after game six. Every home team had won every single game up until that point. So the assumption was the Lakers, as they should have, should have won at home in game seven. And he was by far the best player. The, 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 the arrogance of that alone flew in the Can you believe that, Bob? The, 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 the fact that they gave the awards on an assumption that's why, makes that's it one of the worst. Changed, that's why they changed it and they vote after game seven now, after after it's done. But I mean, you to put it as wait, wait, wait. So, so you're saying they used to do that before that? Error. That was wait, the first. Oh, that was the first, that was the that first was year the first that they one. did that. That was the first year it was given out. They never made that year was given out. Wait, wait. Can someone can somebody explain to me why they decided to do it before the game, just off assumption? Like, is that was that normal practices? Like, what what's what's up with the area? It wasn't like they could. It wasn't like they could text each other. Like they had to get together in a smoky room and and write it down on a piece of paper. So they figured, ah. Let's just, you know, let's just do it. Well, and I also mean, remember, I mean, too. You can't just act like it was like the, the dark ages. Like, they had, they, they all were going to be at game seven. I don't know. Sure. Well, like, <laughs> well, remember, too, Big Ox, that was the first year that the finals MVP was given out. That's number one. Number two, every every game seven, every game seven that was in the NBA finals, the home team won. And Jerry West, I think he was averaging something like 37 or 38 a game in that finals. 30, yeah, yeah 30, he, 38 a game. And nearly, a, I want to say, a, nearly a triple. Like I don't know what stats so, right off the bat. They were crazy, right? And right. also, every game of that series mm-hmm. had been the home team. It was Boston one. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, Lakers, Lakers one at home. Yeah, Boston one at home. Lakers one. Like it was just every home team. So they just kind of went. Uh, yeah. Let's. let's I, 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 this this my t- this my take on that fluent. Like I understand what you're saying. Like okay, they gave they they decided to give it to him before the game. So whoever made that decision. You know, and back then, I don't think they knew that today they were going to be screwing Jerry West and putting him in this top five because that's what they did by doing yeah. it. And now they, they, they that. just screwed him. Like, right. no. <laughs> that's, a top, that's a top five you MVP. Do you not believe that there are some – look, I guess the MVP is not the best player, but there is a lot mm-hmm. of times the best player in the finals doesn't win. Mm-hmm. And, right. and right. if there's any finals MVP that I could be like, you know – Game seven, losing by two. You have a 40-point triple-double. If there was ever a finals MVP who lost that maybe deserved it, it would be West. Mm-hmm. Now, I have a bit of Laker bias. I understand that. Um, but, I mean, like, you lose by two points in game seven and, and you put up a 40-point triple-double. It's still, it's, still, it's, still, it's still top five worst. They lost the series and you got the award. That's top five worst. <laughs> he can go right next to Iguodala. He can go right next to Cedric Maxwell. But when you compare uh, now, that to Cedric Maxwell, when you p- compare that to Iguodala, right. he played better than those guys, but he lost significant. Now, is 2014 and, and, Kawhi up there in terms of one of the worst? I mean, 2015 not, Kawhi. Not, not 2014. Not, yes. 2014 Kawhi. And oh, let's be clear. If you ask Jerry West, if you ask Jerry West, he don't he doesn't want that Finals MVP. Right, right. He doesn't even want it. Yes. Jerry West is a stand-up chip. guy. Yeah. So. How we feeling about? Because again, what we don't want to do, what I, what I don't want to do, Ron, when you say the worst, these dudes are the Finals MVP, so it's basically the best of the worst. One like y'all suck, right? Mm. So what I, what I don't want to say is, awesome. you know, that Chauncey Billups Finals MVP. I mean, I, I don't love it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I don't love well, they it. They had to give it to someone on that team, right? Like that was the thing I, about I, that I know team. that they did. How do you, know, you was, how do you feel about Willis Reed winning it, even though he got her and then in the close just so you know, Mars, I'm glad you brought that up because in 1970, going up into going up into the NBA Finals, he his 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 performance improved every year. Mm-hmm. So before he got hurt in that Game Five, he was averaging 30 and 15 in that final series. I he didn't play in Game well, Six. Yeah. He didn't play in game six. And then in game seven, he only played like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. So was, up until that point. So essentially what it was, was it was basically what they should have done with Jabbar in, ni- in, in 1980. That's why I asked. That's why, because to me, it's a bit hypocritical that Willis Reed won it in seven. Right. And in 80, the same thing happens to Kareem. Magic right. has a great game without him, kind of like right. what Frazier did in the game seven. Right. But Walt Frazier what, doesn't win it. And, 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 and 
Jabbar should have won the finals MVP because he was averaging close to 30 and 15 in that series. Would you have put, would you have put, because I I agree with you. I think Kareem should have won that finals MVP, even though he didn't play in the last game in, in Magica, mm -hmm. but because of what he did the other, the rest of the series. But if, if Kareem wins it, would you put him on this list for winning it and not be, not playing in the closeout game? No, the reason I'm bringing, I'm asking about Willis Reed is because of what happened to Kareem. I'm because of the lack of consistency that happened. Mm -hmm. I believe either Magic in 80 or Willis Reed in 70. I mean, one of them has to be in the top five, in my opinion, because there's clear mm. hypocrisy going on between those two finals MVPs, in my opinion. For right. me, I think Willis Reed should have won, won it in 70, and he did, and Kareem should have won it in 80. That's what I think. But considering Magic Johnson won it in 80, maybe Walt Frazier should have won it in 70. That's why I'm asking. Which is mm. fair, because when you think about, like I just, like I just mentioned, Mars, Willis Reed, every series, he got better, right? So it wasn't just... He did work in that final series and he got hurt. I think I, I think they started against the Bullets and he was averaging 20 and 20 in that series. And then the next round, he was averaging like 28 and, and, and 16. And then he gets to the finals again. He gets to the finals against, against Chamberlain, yeah, the Lakers, right? Yeah. He gets to the finals against Chamberlain. And before he gets hurt, he's going 30 and 15 against Chamberlain. So when I think about the finals MVP at that point, if you're gonna give it, to, if you if you're gonna give it to Willis Reed, Jabbar should have won it too in 1970. I mean, Jabbar should have won it in 1980, 100. percent Pass that two ticket. Pass. Me. You only brought one of those, my, my man. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you Yo, know. ticket. You got you got a top five Finals MVP? No, I got more. Um, Shaq, <clears throat> of course, George. Which one? Wh which one, ticket? Oh, uh. Well, let's go Jordan first. Okay. Jordan. Which which one? Which, which one? Yeah, which there's one's a, there's a lot of options with both of them. Yeah. 90, 90, 98, 98. Jordan, 98 the last year. Okay. Last dance. I'm going to go Shaq. Uh, like you were saying, chill against um, the Kembe. That's the defensive player of the year you went up against. That finals. I thought Shaq just, <clears throat> you know, dismantled. Uh, what was ever left of the Kimbe at that time. Also, I'm gonna go uh, Kobe Bryant. Uh, United against the Boston Celtics. Oh, um, I think oh, that nice. coming back from losing to the Celtics and then being determined to get back and face them again, even though he didn't have a great offensive closeout game, he did everything else, uh, and he still ended up leading the game and scoring. But he did everything else. Uh, rebound, assist, everything else to help win the game. So uh, that one. Also, they was down in that series too, Ticket. Right. And they came right. back and won. Yeah, game seven. That's right. Yep. Also, um, I'm going to go uh, Dirk Nowitzki. Mm -hmm. going Dirk that's Diggler. Where at. I'm going Dirk Diggler. Come mm -hmm. back down from uh, uh, 2 <laughs> And you run that. So I'm going Dirk Diggler. And then I'm going for my fifth one. I'm probably going to have to say I'm going to go Giannis Antetokounmpo. Come down from 0-2 off an of injury. Mm. First ever championship for the Milwaukee Bucks. Walked down the senior sons four games in a row and everybody thought the series was over with. Yo, so Ticket, these are your favorites you got, or these you are the best? Giannis, you got Giannis over LeBron in 2016. Top five right there, finals MVPs. You got, you got Giannis over LeBron, Ticket, yes. in, in 2016? Yes. You, got, you like Giannis over Olajuwon too in '95? Yes, because How about because like those guys that help. I like Giannis because Giannis, he everything that he had overcome, he went through the same type of stuff Jokic was going through with the MVPs, and then they said he couldn't do it unless he won a chip, and then he had that big injury going into the final. I thought he was out for the playoffs. We, he, we thought he might be out. Was, that knee was injury out. was nasty. I thought he was out for the playoffs. If you remember the narrative when they was 0-2, everybody was saying it was the series was over with. And I told people they was going to walk him down four straight games, and he beat them four straight games. And then you said that, Ticket? You said yeah. that they was going to walk them down. You ain't you, won, you, you didn't think the I series beat, was I over. I money off Mr. Masks. You know, the dude you cooked the other day. <laughs> okay. I told him they was going to win four straight games. He made, he tried to make a dummy bet with me because he thinks I'm a fool after they was down 0-2. And the video's still up on my channel. You can go look it up. And so he comes in talking all this stuff after they're down 0-2, saying, oh, your boy Giannis is done. He's overrated. So I said, bro, you going to come back and win four straight. And so we bet I took his money. Mm. Mm. 
Kobe over 2016 Brown kind of crazy to me. But I feel 2010 Kobe, not 09. Oh, 2010 Kobe. My I thought he was going to go with 09. I thought he was going to go with Yeah. Nine. Okay, so 2010 Kobe against the Celtics. My fault, my fault, my fault. Uh, let me see. All right. All right, fellas. So, moving along, I got a, I got another question That's pertaining to this. Crazy. Similar. Cheese with the Super Chat said, top five rim protectors of all time. What are, what are we thinking? Well, first of all, and again, rim protecting is not just blocking shots. OK, let's let's make sure we clear on that, guys. Rim protecting is man in the paint, misdirecting shots. Right. Rim protecting isn't just standing at the rim, throwing the ball into the third row. No, nah, that's that's not what rim protecting is. So <laughs> that being talk said, about Bill it, Russell is number one. I, I, I think it's Elijah Wan, And I think I think Bill Russell right behind him. But that's just me. That, that, that's me. I, 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 I and the reason why the, the reason why I feel like that, Mars, is because I think that as good of, as as good a rim protector as Bill Russell was, and as good as a transition defender in terms of a rim protector that Bill Russell was, I think Elijah Wan was better in that aspect. I think that's where the separator is. So when I'm I not think about, argue about one and two, I'm not going right. To. So I'm going to go Elijah Wan at one. I'm going to go Bill Russell at two. I'll go Jabbar at three. Um, Matumbo at four. And this, the number five gets a little bit tricky for me because there's a there's a lot of rim protectors. Ben Wallace was he he Ben Wallace was something else, man. Ben Wallace at the rim at six nine, even though he was undersized against a lot of guys. About six seven, chill. He wasn't even six nine. <laughs> Damn, I'm sorry. Hey, that, 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 there, I'm listed at six nine. I'm sorry. The Mar- Mar- um, Mar- Mar- I feel like Mar- the funniest Mar- thing I've ever seen. What's that? Said, Manute said Bo- again, Manute, said again, Tom. Manute Bo is one of the funniest shot blockers I've ever seen. It, it's comical. He is. He used to block shots. Hey, Ron, you put that poll up. How much did Giannis average in that finals, uh, uh, floor? Damn. Uh, 35, I think. And what else? Oh, I don't know. I'm going off the top of my head, like 35 and 12 or something. Bill Russell. He yeah, averaged like 35, 13, and what, seven, six or seven assists? Bill that sounds about right, yeah. And around like two blocks, right? 35, 13, five assists, one steal, and just right under two blocks, 1.8 you blocks. Don't, you don't have Will Chamberlain top five rim protectors. That's what I, I that's where I was going. I was thinking about rim protectors. I'm thinking what about, what about the white? Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Will, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Alonzo oh. Morning. I'm thinking, I was oh. thinking Alonzo oh. Morning, but I'm thinking Chamberlain, though, because mm-hmm. I mean, Chamberlain, they, they changed the rules because of Chamberlain. Mm-hmm. And if they had an all, day, and, if, and if they had an all, they they didn't even keep blocks during that time. And if they did, Chamberlain would be at the top of the list, simply Maybe off the strength of, of who he was. Wait, so chill. So no or think Mark Eaton, though, right? shot at the top five? I was thinking Mark Eaton too. Okay. Yo, you got something that got people triggered in that comment section. You said something, and they're they're triggered about this whole LeBron and Giannis thing with the finals. I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna leave it at that. And I don't know if Floyd may agree with me because he's you know he's Greek too, but. For me, it was more impressive winning four straight games in the finals. Like, oh, if you're down 0-2 and you beat a team four straight, it's hard to beat a team in the NBA championship four straight times. You know what I'm saying? So when Giannis and them came back and beat them four straight, to me, I'm like, mm-hmm. man, that's that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And then to put up 35, what, 13, five, and two blocks in a steal, that's, and not even go to a game seven? Well, if, if, if we're doing that ticket, then – there are other D-Wade. guys because Dwayne, because about to say in Dallas, they was down. Yeah, they was, no, no, I'm, I, 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 but you, you missed my key point. And I think that Fluent understands this too. The injury to Giannis, but he, he did that off that injury. We saw, we saw that injury. And right. that same injury, Paul George, he just had Paul George had didn't play at all. He had a hyperextended knee. I thought he was out for the playoffs. So, I did. so did I. So did I. I, did. I did. You're, what you're doing, what you're doing, and I, and I agree with you, you're giving him a l- extra credit because he did it hurt. Whereas I think a lot of fans, especially LeBron, will say, "Well, he came back from three-one. It was against a seventy-three win team." Is like, there's everyone's going to spin their narrative a little. I don't, I don't think you're wrong either way. I don't think you're wrong. I think, I think, I think if, you, if you say if you say strictly out? performance, I don't think just how well they played. Not take out every narrative, take out the fact it was three-one, take out a seventy-three and nine team. I don't think that's a top five finals performance of all time. From LeBron, like just how well they played, but everything that goes into it and everything that all the history that was made, I think you have to put it out there. 
But just in terms of performance, I do think there's probably five better than that. Performance Alonso. alone, yeah. Because yeah, like, like, and just about well, this part too. Oh, when oh, I oh. we brought up when we brought up Olajuwon, the first thing I think Damo said was, "Oh, but didn't uh, Drexler have like a triple double?" Well, right. didn't didn't Kyrie average like thirty that series too or something? That was Bob. Bob yeah. said that. Bob. Oh, Bob's my bad. My bad. Sorry, Damo. Yeah, Bob immediately went to his teammate. I'd, I'd say that LeBron had a pretty good teammate in that run too. He did. So again, well, and, only and, only went to, only went to the teammate in rebuttal to uh, D Wade and Shaq. I didn't really. Yeah, I, I, no, no, I, I, was, I, was, I was just kind of, I was just kind of see a lot what of the, things what the depends on what you look at, right? What's more important? But I think I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm I, a on them. I credit those injuries a lot because, like, look at another example. Like I, I showed you with the Paul Georges, that be the same injury. Giannis didn't even play the playoffs. But then I want you to think about this. Think about what would have happened with. Uh, if uh, the Sacramento Kings would have won that series, Aaron Fox had the same injury Tyler Hero had. He played and still dropped 30, I think, one of those games. So he played and helped extend that series to where to where it went seven. Uh, Hero, we didn't see him no more the whole playoffs with the same injury. He just shipped it up. So when dudes tough it out like that and have great performances, like I seen Isaiah do in the playoffs when I heard it on that bum ankle, I kind of I, I got to give you more because I know you were at a weaker stage. So for me, that Giannis to put up those dominant numbers with that injury we saw he had, I thought he was done for the playoffs when he had that injury. So that's why I said that. That's not because so we're not going. We, we, we're not going to talk about Chris Middleton. No, we're not going to talk about Chris Middleton dropping forty and then follow that up with almost dropping thirty. Dropping yeah, no, no, but Giannis average, but Giannis averaged thirty five and scored fifty in the closeout and in that series. He, but, let, he was he led the fourth quarter and scoring by over a hundred points. Nobody else. No, no, no. I, I'm, I'm just speaking on the fact of people throwing out what teammates have done. I mean, you yeah, should, no, 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 you should be able to look at almost every final performance and find series? out what another great what did teammate somebody had. What did Middleton have in the series? series? I'll have to look. Um, yeah, didn't have have probably, probably, probably like twenty three. Probably. Yeah. Look, 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 look it up. It was tw- it was twenty. It was twenty plus. But with that being said, I mean, they were down. Cleveland was Don't, down. Cleveland, Cleveland was down three one. I mean, James had two forty point games. Nobody had done that back to back. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not, not, not and I and I appreciate the injury logic. Yes, I one hundred percent take it. I I, pre- yeah. I I can't fight the injury logic because I ain't think Giannis. I thought Giannis was done for the. I, I, I thought Giannis was. I thought Giannis was done for the for the series. But for him, not not only for him to have two two forty point games, but also that game seven, we had a five minute stretch where it couldn't nobody score. And he ended up breaking open the game, cracking the three, then icing the game. Because everybody talks about Kyrie Irving's. Everybody talks about Kyrie Irving's three. It was still a one possession game when Kyrie Irving hit that three. Are you going to praise LeBron for making that three? That free throw? Absolutely. Ice the game. Game's <laughs> over. He still got a one possession uh, game. Absolutely, Mars. It's a one possession game if he doesn't make that free throw. I we still got a ball game. game. I he goes he to the free- a one possession game because the block. He, he goes throw. to the free throw line and he misses both them free throws. We still got a one possession game. He goes to the free throw line and misses both of those and makes both of those with five seconds. Game's over. Game's over. Ice is the game. So I guess my whole point is that I, I love that we're talking about. I love that we're talking about teammates because didn't, yeah. didn't he miss the first free throw? He did I miss love, the first one. I remember. I remember what my like, blood Dray, pressure Dray, went up. Dray, Dray, Draymond fouled him so hard, and then yes. LeBron's there. Oh, my wrist, mm-hmm. and then he, he missed. My the blood first pressure one. went up because I'm like, yo, all you gotta do is make one in the game. And, that, and that's back when I was a Warriors fan, so I was there praying for him to miss the second one, <clears> and then he didn't. But so. hey, chill, I can't take it away. That was a great performance. But back to the blocks, I got um number one overall. I would have to say. Uh, would be Dikembe Mutombo. Number two, I would have to say Big Ben Wallace. I thought he was just demon uh, blocking shots. He changed the whole mindset. But it's not just block, it's not just blocking shots though. Yeah, no, no. It's but I'm just saying, scaring dudes. I'm saying he Ben Ben got Rashid to wear these. I don't know if you guys remember, but Ben used to wear he used to he used to wear headbands on his arms. He was so strong. And then he came in. He had a wristband, and nobody knows this. And shout out to the big dog. He had a wristband and it said NFZ on it. And nobody knew what that means. He gave it to Rashid when Rashid came over. It meant no fly zone. And so it was really a no fly zone around the basket. Like, so he he really changed. That was the first dude outside of those greats like Matumbo that I seen change an entire team based off of one end of the basketball floor not being offense. He changed. Tone, they would have beat Tone. They would have beat your Lakers if they'd have played them ten times. They'd have beat them nine right. times. So that, and that's a that's a crazy part is that you had uh Prime Kobe. Yeah, and well, why, wait, there's no need to say that. I'm sorry. And, there's and no need. I'm not. I, I, I'm not sorry. No, he's, I'm not. He's, yeah, he's, I, 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 I enjoyed him. Saying that. I, enjoyed I, got, him. I loved it. I'm coming with. I got Zoe Morning up there. 
I like mm-hmm. Zoe Mooney. You know what I'm saying? I like his impact deep on, on the defensive end, not only blocking shots, but altering shots. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was major in that. Except for Vince Carter's coming at him. Oh, you crazy as hell. But that was older. That was an older Zoe Mooney. That wasn't a prime Zoe Mooney, though. That was a prime Zoe Mooney. got like 06 or something like that? Yeah, that was, was a old. Yeah, he was, he was, he was in year 14, something like that. Behind, behind the back. You're sad, you're sad, Floyd, for bringing that up. No, he brought up the Lakers. I'm doing something. Yeah, you <laughs> got to get that malice out your heart. That's three. That's three. Home, Take man. it. Home. That's number three. Number four. I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, the great Hakeem. Mm-hmm. I think Hakeem was a great a great rim protector. I think Hakeem was a great not only rim protector shot. No, block. no, no. Bill Russell on your list. Uh yeah, I, but we only had number four. I, I don't have him. Oh, yeah, number, five. Four, it? Okay. number five. Number five, I got Dwight Howard because I thought Dwight Howard in his prime was an absolute man, and I thought him in his prime years, his defense alone, him patrolling the basket would have put it. He he led a team to the NBA Finals without no other superstars on that team based off of that. So I I give him that. I just thought that he was just unbelievable in those years. If if, if Dwight would have retired right after he left Orlando, he'd have made the Hall of Fame just based off that career. How, how do you? I'm not saying top five. How do you guys feel about Tim Duncan and David Robinson? Well, because I thought I'm not saying Duncan's in my top five. That's that's top five. The White Howard was more dominant than what Tim Duncan was and what his name was on defense at that time. The White Howard was a when we saw the White when he was in Orlando, bro. We legitimately thought he could be one of the best defensive players ever before he left. Oh Orlando. yeah, that was a conversation for sure. That was a yeah. I, I agree, but over Tim Duncan. To answer your Tim Duncan, to answer Tim Duncan, yeah, Tim, I, he, he Nick, might you remember deserve. Tim Duncan in 2005? You remember Tim Duncan in 2003? Well, yeah, how, how, yeah, yeah. The question isn't just shot blocking. It's about rim protection. And one of the things right. about Duncan was, although he might not have blocked a lot of shots, he was oh, always in the right shot. position to oh, make your shot difficult and, and, and alter what you were doing. So there's a lot of time glass, for block. But. Clean and glass. Yeah. yeah. Man in the paint. And not and not just that. There's a reason why that team that he was just like just, just like Dwight Howard. There's a reason why his team was always at the top of the league in defense because of him. But yeah, chill. Dwight was crazy, bro. If you no, I ain't fighting that part. That that that, that, that no, part no, I'm not no. fighting. Chill. If you go back and look at those years with Dwight Howard in in in, in um in Orlando, and this is why everybody got mad when Dwight uh was speaking about the stuff with Jokic as far as his prime. If you would have put Dwight Howard's prime. Like, if we would have put a prime Dwight Howard against Jokic, he would have gave Jokic problems, a prime Dwight Howard, based off his athleticism, based off his movement and everything else that he had those years in the league. Chill town. For a stretch, Dwight Howard, man, led the league in rebounding and block shots. You understand what I'm saying? For a whole stretch. And then, like I said, th- that time in Orlando, it was a time where he didn't average less than 12 rebounds in almost a six-year span. He was a glass cleaner. One hundred percent, he was. He was a glass you know, chat, you know, chat man, go do some research. Saying Bill Russell played up, played nobodies is is ridiculous. Just, you, don't don't enter, you don't entertain those world. people. He didn't, you didn't play the level of athleticism. He didn't play the level, of, and that, that's why I didn't have him in my top five. He didn't play that level of athleticism that Zoe Morning played because it was. <laughs> he didn't play Whoa, the level. Ah. No, I'm just saying. I know what that sound I is, Ox. I know what this bro. Hold on, that's being honest. Hold on. All, all no, this dude over there up. League, look at all the superstars that was in the league when Ewing was in the league. You had all these dudes, athletes, Clyde the Glad Drexler, Michael Jordan. All these dudes was coming from the perimeter to the rim to finish you. Then you had big dudes that were supremely athletic too that could finish above the rim. Right. Pat Ewing, all these dudes were finishing above the rim. You understand what I'm saying? So it wasn't right. easy back then to be a shot blocker. Or or, or 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 just a presence underneath the basket in that era, and then even in Dwight's era, he still had great big men. He had Tim, he had uh, KG, he had uh, all those great dudes. Y'all know y'all know who was in the league. C. Ben Webb, Wallace was in the all league. These dudes, too. All these dudes right. were supremely athletic, bro. So and then right. you talk about the guards. We ain't right. even talking about the guard. He had Kobe Bryant jump over his head. Right. So we ain't even talking about all the guards he had to deal with. Vince, T. Mac, right. Kobe, all these dudes. So to be able so, to be that dominant in that era, I got to right. put him. Real, real quick, let me let me let me address Mook comment about the competition was weak. Just so you know, when you're playing against less teams, that means you're playing the better competition more, Mook. So that means that instead of seeing Olajuwon twice before Christmas, I got to see him eight times before Christmas. Instead of seeing Chris Webber once a year or twice in a season, I got to see this dude 13 right. times. And that means 13 times I'm going to have to be on top of my game. Otherwise... 
I'm going to get my lunch taken. So when Bill Russell's got to see Chamberlain, when Bill Russell has got to see Bob Pettit, when Bill Russell's got to see Nate, Nate Thurman. Thurman, when he's got to see Willis Reed, when he got to see these dudes on the regular. Every night, every to, night. There, now, you just there is five no, guys. Yeah, like, there was only eight teams. Yeah, that's the that's the yeah. point. Like, I don't I don't like the when people say, oh, they only had eight teams. Like I always try to say, imagine the NBA had eight teams today. You wouldn't see George Niang on a roster. That wouldn't happen. Every no. team would have like five, six all star caliber players. Like that's right. how the talent pool would work. And, There's and, less and, teams. And, that means that every team is going to be more stacked. That's and, just how and, it works. Right. You know, Mars. We're going to do that one of these days. How many of us is it up here? It's six. We'll include low. That's seven. We're going to draft eight teams. And we're going to see <coughs> which players are on them eight teams. teams. <laughs> you, you, we're going to see how good the teams are. Who's going to be the also, 15th also man on the team? Then, also, back then, just think about it. He just named Nate Thurman, Bob Pettit, Will Chamberlain, uh, Bellamy, uh, Reed, all Will those Bellamy. guys. So that's who Russell had to defend every single night. And someone said something dumb where they're like, well, they were shorter. No, the average center back then was actually taller than they are today. So they were big, strong, tall, athletic. All of them. Look, go back and look at how athletic those guys were. Like that. Bill Bill Russell wasn't exactly a giant himself. Like he He was was six nine. Yeah, but yeah. he wasn't exactly no. like, he wasn't six, on the Will was six ten. I mean, I'm sorry, not Will. Well, I'm sorry. Bill Russell was six mind. ten. Keep in mind, right. though, six nine, six ten, six eleven. But all of those guys, just keep this in mind. All of those guys back then were measured barefoot. Today they're measured with shoes on. So mm-hmm. add an inch to every single one of those players as well. Yeah. Does he gotta do that too? But then right. keep all right, fellas. Moving along. I got a start bench <clears throat> cut for everybody from Drip Bayless. Mm-hmm. He said, "Mellow, Jimmy, and the truth. Y'all think Jimmy top fifty as well? So let's let's go ahead and do the, the star bench cut, and then we can one we can ask whether Jimmy's top fifty or not. Well, I mean, well, uh, Paul Pierce starts over Mello. Uh, yeah, I'm start, I'm starting Paul Pierce for sure. Mm-hmm. So, I'm starting so, I'm starting Paul Pierce easy. Um, and this is where this is where it gets tricky for me because if you would have asked me this after round one. <laughs> I would have said we Jimmy on the bench. But now, you know, we have recency bias work. So what I just right. saw from Jimmy, I'm like, maybe I could just keep Melo on the squad. Right. So with that being said, uh, Melo's on the bench. And who's out? Jimmy. I'm starting. Jimmy's I'm out. starting. Paul. I'm with you. I'm starting Paul Pierce. I am benching Jimmy Buckets. Of course. And we're yeah. cutting the black hole. I mean Carmelo. <laughs> I could, I could, I could dig that. I, I could dig that. Definitely could dig that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I, this is easy for me. Start Jimmy, bench Melo, cut the lie. Ooh, yeah, you're so, you're so, so it's you're a true, it's a true, it's a truth and a lie. Oh, Lakers. What? Mm. Oh, like, bias. He's saying you're Paul, biased. Paulie. I'm Paulie. biased. What am I biased? No, I'm but not what, biased. But why are you taking? Why are you taking Jimmy over both of them? Um, I've seen Jimmy do more with less. Shout out to Paul Pierce for living his best life. That is going on, Ticket, just so you know. That is absolutely going on. Wait, what was going on, Ticket? What happened? Hey, yo, the only thing was, was funny when a dude threw the lighter in his face. Did you see that? That was wild. Did you see that, though? That was wild. That, that, hey, yo, that, that hey, hey, Ron, hey, Ron, <laughs> before they, they finish the third bunch cuts, how much would you pay or how much money would you give in underdog dollars um, if – I love burritos. Change their name to I love buttons. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got, I got, I got, I got a hot two fifty in your uh, in your underdog account. I don't get there you go, two hundred and fifty dollars if you change your name to I love but was it I love yeah. buttons or I love, was, I love buttons? He would have to change it to I love burritos. It's it's I love buttons. I love no, it's I love burritos. He has to change it to I love buttons. I'm not going to agree with the wording that Fluent used because the wording he used was disgusting, but. I got to start Paul Pierce. He's a world champion. I got to bring Jimmy off the bench. He's carried his own team to the finals. And I got to cut him. And I love, and Melo's one of my favorite players ever. I got to yeah, cut him. Because, like I said, if, if he would have been drafted to the Detroit Pistons, we having a whole different legacy conversation. But it wasn't. So. Yeah. I thought yeah. we don't give guys credit for stacking the deck. We talking about stacking the deck. How's he stacking the deck? Paul Pierce stacked the deck. Paul Pierce, no way. He stacked the deck. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He just stacked the deck. We have a peaceful day. No, he didn't stack the deck. Okay, wait. Did, but, did, did, did Kevin, did Kevin any, Garnett stack the deck? Kevin Garnett Garnett stack. Stack. No, 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 because KG, hold on. KG didn't want to get traded. You guys, you guys got to remember what happened. KG rejected. That's, hold on. This is the whole reason why KG has beef with the Minnesota Timberwolves now, and the T-Wolves don't respect KG no more. 
KG was so ticked off at that whole situation. He didn't want to leave Minnesota. Minnesota was forcing him out. That's why KG got mad at Minnesota. They were done. They wanted to go on this route. Because you're the same guy that was giving KG slack yesterday. Kevin Hale and Danny Ainge conspired. Didn't KG have a no trade closer? He went through a whole stretch where he was winning 50 games a year. As flu in the children. He could have chosen where he went to go. He was getting torn on. He was getting tossed in the first round. And then this is what they did, right? So that one year, they went all the way in for those two years and went and got him, Sam Cassell and Latrell Sprewell, right? So they went to the Western Conference Finals and they lost to the Lakers, First right? time you'd ever been out the first round of the playoffs. After the first that, time. After, right. And first after time that, you ever had home. After that, they did not want to continue on to try to build teams over there. They wanted to go a youth route. So they told KG, look, we, we want to move on from you. KG never wanted to leave. So when they when they was going to move him, he originally was trying to go to the Lakers with Kobe yeah. Wall. I, I remember that. Kobe never answered his call. Kobe, that's why that never happened. Kobe never answered his call. So yeah, that's he, wanted, how he, wanted to go, he wanted to go to L.A. That's correct. He did have a no trade clause. That is correct. And he was hesitant to approve the Boston deal until they got Ray Allen. And then he yeah, said, OK, that, that sounds like stuck in the deck. That's why and you understand why he did that. The reason why he did that was because before Ray Allen shows up, Boston was actually worse than Minnesota. Yeah, there's no bad. reason for me. To, there's no tonight. reason for me to go play there. I can stay right, right here Europe. where I am. There's no reason for me to go play over there. Now, what we leaving out, which is the most important part, ticket that you left out was it was a friend calling up another friend asking for a favor. Mm -hmm. So that's Danny Ainge calling Go up his man Kevin McHale and telling him, "Yo, I'm about to lose my job. Right? I need a favor." And they they had everybody hit KG up and convince him finally to go over there because KG even told him he never wanted to go to Boston. He hated Boston. He never wanted to go there. Everything he heard about what had happened with. Bill Russell and all the stuff, he never wanted to go to Boston. This is the reason why a lot of guys didn't want to go play for Boston Celtics. But he ended up going because that was pretty much his last resort. That, I mean, if you, Man, if you would have went to the wait, Lakers. Wait, can I just ask? Can I just ask? Can, wait, wait, Lake, can I just ask? Because Lakers. maybe I'm tripping. Oh, he went to the Lakers. That would have made my, 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 Kobe. Childhood, my childhood so Ooh. great. But maybe I'm tripping and tell me if I'm wrong because maybe I'm just wrong then. Was it not just yesterday you was giving KG slack for going to the same Celtics team that you're talking about now? Slack slack I didn't say anything about that. I didn't give a slack. I didn't speak on was that. Was that not last part? Was that not? No, no, no. I didn't speak show? on that. I didn't speak on that. I so I'm misremembering. So I'm, I'm no, 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 no. I what, did he, what, what, did, what did he say, Damo? Yeah, what did I say? I didn't speak on that. It was a long lines of just look. We were, uh, man, Jesus Christ. I didn't no, 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 hold on. Look. I didn't speak were we on, not compared? Did somebody not say it was we were comparing KG was to uh, about super so, teams and stuff? So, so, we were talking but, about super no, teams. No, 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 it was about KG. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he wrote his tirade about KG going to stack the deck. No, I didn't say that. Hold on. And this, that, and the third. Is that not what happened? Hold on, hold on. I didn't say anything about We were talking about Dirk Nowitzki. It was Dirk Nowitzki came up I was talking about Dirk Nowitzki. I wasn't talking about KG yesterday. KG came up, but Dirk Nowitzki did more with less, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I wasn't talking about KG. If I misremember, no, I misremember, fine. I think Bob said somebody was KG. I said, somebody said somebody was better than KG, and Bob was like, nah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. I didn't mm -hmm. I didn't say, I wasn't talking about Wait, 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 wait. We got a super chat from Silent Presence. He said, Ticket, ain't you the one on multiple occasions say KG stacked the deck? It's like the one thing you say about him almost every time. So what's up that. with the switch up? I said I did not hold on. Tell me, I you bring the tape when I said he stacked the deck. I never said he stacked the deck. I said that what happened was the stacking the deck is not when you uh, uh, d disagree to a trade. That's not stacking the deck. Stacking the deck is I'm when I'm when I am a free agent like LeBron James, KD, and the rest of these guys, and I'm saying, look, Amazing, I'm gonna go play with you, you, and you. I want all of us to come together and we are gonna gang up on the league. That's stacking the deck. That. Hey, hold on. KD, KD saying, I want to go play the <clears throat> Phoenix Suns, but with Chris Paul, with Devin Booker, with DeAndre Ayton, that's stacking the deck. KD saying, I want to go to the Brooklyn Nets and whip, take Kyrie with me, trade everybody else y'all got, and then go get James Harden. That's stacking the deck. That is stacking K the deck. KD wasn't a free agent, though. He got traded to Phoenix. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I'm he just... demanded a trade there to that team. And then he said, he said, <clears throat> I want to be traded there. And only play with that's Paul. that's kind that's kind of what KG did to Boston. Though. That's not what KG G, G did. He didn't. He didn't that. have to go to Boston. Hold on, KG fought that. That's listen. This is the whole. No, he talk, he talks he talks about it. He always no, says when, when I went there and I see Rajon Rondo, I was I like, yeah, that. I'll come, but you got to well, keep Bob, him. Bob, Bob, I know this for a fact. This is the reason why well, he got KG said it out of his mouth. Take it. Oh, no, no, no. I know no, no, that's not what he said. You're wrong. Yes, I, that I is what he said. I know this for a fact. This is why. This is why KG has beef with Minnesota till today. 
Mm. This is why he has beef with the Minnesota T Wolves, and they won't retire his jersey. He got the same type of beef with them, but it's a different in a different way. The situation with Melo was everybody thought Melo just dished the, uh, the Denver Nuggets. He didn't do that. When they went to the Western Conference Finals and played Kobe Bryant and them, the team did not want to re-sign Chelsea. They didn't want to re-sign Kenya Martin and those guys. The team wanted to reset and rebuild. So he said, okay, well, ship, ship me to the New York Knicks then. And the Knicks, they weren't even – there wasn't no super team. Right, right. But as far as, as, far as KG goes – Hold on. KG's situation was he wanted to stay with Minnesota. He was a loyal guy. Minnesota – the owner of Minnesota came to him and told him, yo – we want to move on from you because we want to go young. He like, yo, I don't, I'm not trying to go. He was like, all right, whatever. Boom. They told him he they was gonna move on from him, or they were just gonna put all young dudes around him. And he was gonna lose. Mm-hmm. He called Kobe. And Kobe he's still, and he's, okay, so but calling Kobe it shows I'm trying to stack the deck. No, no, no. How did he call Kobe? It was just him and Kobe. He, yo, but look, but that's stacking the deck. Kobe and KG. And and that's that's, how, on, that's two top five players. Oh, I mean. I'm hearing you, but you did not. Did you, but you heard KG say it, though, right? Tiki? You you seen that interview when he's talking about this, though, right? Say what? And you know, and you know, I would never try to slander KG. Y'all know KG. Hold is on, my we can get. Hold on, I can try to get a line to KG and and try to get him up here. Well, first of all, him. Well, for, first, first of all, him, him not having his jersey retired is doesn't have anything to do with what happened in two thousand. Uh, for nothing. No, no, no. Him not having his jersey. Hold on. Him, 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 him having his jersey retired is because when he came back, he was going to be part owner of the Minnesota Timberwolves. That mm-hmm. was the deal. Uh-huh. Only except the owner reneged on the deal. Mm-hmm. And because uh-huh. of that, that's why he came back in 2016. No, that, yeah, yeah, no, you're right. Chill town. You're right. All that added up, though, from when they wanted to move him before. Then when he came back, you're exactly right. And then that's what made the beef explode. You know what I'm saying? Because if Flip Saunders was alive, RIP to Flip Saunders, he would have been his jersey would have been retired if Flip Saunders was alive. He should have a statue outside the arena. He's the best player in the history of that organization. One hundred percent. Such a wild man. And it's not even close. You can boo all you want, Tone. It's not even close. He's the best player, the only league found MVP it. that they've yeah. ever had. You know I was gonna find it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I, I found You've been it. Scouring. I scoured. I scoured. I scoured the pot. Let's last hear it. Time. Let's hear Literally, it. Literally, it someone, let's when hear people it. were mentioning <laughs> finals MVPs, we got, we, when people we were mentioning finals MVPs, someone said, "Oh, are we putting Jokic over X, Y, Z's final MVP?" Yep. You said you're putting Jokic over Jokic KG's yes, finals MVP because KG went and stacked the deck. He didn't win those guys. You said that word for word. KD, the clip, Damo. KD, nigga. Run it. Well, listen. Oh no, he said he said KD. KD, you big dumb off man. This dude is a dummy. He's dumber than he look. Run hey, it. you idiot. Hey, run it. Why this boy on drugs? Run it. Up. Hold run on. it. Because, again, again, I'm, I'm, I'm playing this right now. Because, Play again, it, Bob says KG, he brings up KG, and you said he's over I KG. KG. Okay. KG, I, why would you All say right, KG we'll, we'll, Bob we'll, said KG? Here we go. Let, let's yeah, hear it. Let, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. We'll, hear be, the judges. It. we'll be the judges. Hold on. Can y'all hear? No. Play it, nigga. Put it closer to the turn it up. Put it, put it closer to the microphone. It, it is literally in the mic. What, what's the, what's the, what's the video and the timestamp? And I'll... I got you. I got you. It's literally the last, the last, um, the <laughs> yeah, last one we did. The one from yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> Different Nuggets <laughs> win first <laughs> NBA title. But wait, KG won. KG never got a finals MVP. Ticket, they try to pin you up, fam. <laughs> what you call it, nigga? I ain't um, around one oh four, one oh nine. So between one oh four and one oh nine. So, how? But he can't. He can't be talking about KG. Won the finals MVP if KG never won the finals MVP. Right. If thank I'm, you. If thank I'm you. Miss here, if I, 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 I have I have the timestamp. Should I should I play it? If Run I'm it. Hearing, I'm miss hearing Bob is Bob is literally dumb. saying KG. And okay. you either, go with what Bob said. Either so either he said it or he didn't. Him. I don't remember. Right, yeah, saying I'm, that. I'm 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 gonna but play. I don't remember. I don't we're, we're gonna be judges. Hey, Mark, so run it. Run it. Can can everyone hear? This is number twelve for you now. Nah, he's thirteen. I still, I, 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 I think Jokic one of the greatest players ever. I just, didn't, I just don't want to give it to him until he won the chip. So he's uh, well, number thirteen from, under or where I come from, where I come from, we don't give you no props until you win, until you win, until you win the whole thing. So he I'm won it now. So I give him his prop. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not ready, I'm not ready to put him ahead of KG. I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I am because he led his team to win the championship. KG went over to a team. I'm not, he was I'm not doing that. Stacked the deck. KD. Am I done? Are we done? KG. 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 
KD. No, 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 no. Okay. No, he said KG. He said KG. That's sick. Play it again. Play it again. I'll play the. I'll play the last ten seconds. I'm playing the last part. He said KG or KD? I want to make sure I'm clear. KG. He said KD. He said KD. You said KG first. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Kill says KG. Kill says KG. Someone else says KG. And Ticket says KD in the background. Yes. Will you come for the king? We will. 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 We I don't care. I don't care. But the point, the point is, anyone, who, anyone who was paying attention, your worst so nightmare Bob, is if I pull up the PC week in real life, boy. All right, cool. So Bob was talking about KG. He brought up KG. Yep. Then everyone was discussing KG, included. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Let him finish. Let him finish. Let him finish. Yeah, I'm, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. All right, cool. And then everyone was discussing KG. And the reason I know Ticket was also discussing KG is because he said. He Man, wasn't even the finals MVP. Know is, is Everyone the knows KD was play the finals MVP. Play the right 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 If you, if you, if you, if you, if you want to, I, I, I'll pull up the bit where he said he wasn't even the finals MVP, and that can that 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 can solidify everything. He asked me KD, KD, I said KD. Yeah, I know, and you, and I'm, I'm saying you were also talking about KD. No player, no player, no player. Because if he says he wasn't even finals MVP, you couldn't talk about Kevin Durant. No, I'm the biggest idiot on the team. Yeah, I'm a player. I'm a player. When you hear the words, he wasn't even the finals MVP. Tell me who you think he's going to be. You got to get a knuckle sandwich, Mark. This fool, this fool, this fool want to beat me so bad. I'm not, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to put him ahead of KG. I am. But everyone knows he's at KG. KG went over to a team. You hear that? Wasn't even a Finals MVP. To a Finals MVP, nigga. He went over to a Finals MVP and Steph Curry. Boy, you know, well, fa- Steph wasn't a Finals MVP either, so that's not true. Stop nigga, trying to change what you said. You're say hey, that. Hey, 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 you know what? Mars, 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 I, be- Mars. I believe you are talking about both of them. Well, I believe you are talking about both of them. You, you, you want to do that because I'm just saying what I'm hearing. That's fine. I'm do that because you a punk. Oh, shit. I, I, well, I mean, you, you can do what you want. I don't really care. Yeah, I'm just saying, I believe I'm I want to move the last because that man asked me. He asked me. Chill, chill, chill. What's up? What's up? Hey, yo, Damo. Well, I didn't take the test of German. That was a lie. Okay. Hey, hey, chat. I'm running a poll right now. Is Ticket guilty or not guilty? You guys will confirm whether hey, the actual verdict. I have to my mommies. Hey, yo. Ticket, Kelly, not guilty <laughs> kelly not guilty <laughs> all right y'all let's 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 keep it pushing officer ricky oh, with the no, super what? chat sale bill russell's overrated he just had the best team in an era where the celtics were the best team and his numbers don't hold up against other greats actually they do he had a four year yeah, individual rim protecting so so, not uh, this, this this one thing too, Flo, and I, I kind of want to take a, a few steps back real quick, Flo, uh, about about your man Jerry West. Not only were, did they do that before Game Seven, but that was a hundred percent racially motivated because they did not want to give they did not want to give Bill Russell that MVP, even though he averaged twenty one nine and six. It would have gone to John Havlicek. If, if, oh. Boston, if they gave it to a Boston player, it would have gone to John Havlicek. But I don't well, agree why, with well, that. Bill, Bill Russell had 21, 9, and 6. John, John Havlicek was hooping in that finals. But um, I don't like the, the talk about like Bill Russell just had by far the best team. Um, if you actually look into it, I don't like using All-Stars as a measure, but if you look into it for most of Bill <clears> Russell's <throat> career, they didn't just outweigh everyone with All-Stars. The reason why people seem to say they had this great team is because of the amount of Hall of Famers that are on the team. But respectfully, when Casey Jones is in there because of coaching, not being a player, and Tom Sanders made it for reasons unknown, that's not really going to be the level of talent that we're talking about. Also, we talk about the talent of the team. 
if and it's not really because of defense. Like John Havlicek became a good defender later on. Sam Jones wasn't a great defender. Bob Cousy was not a good defender. Tommy Heinsohn was not a great defender. The reason we say they had all these great players is because they were offensive players. But the Boston Celtics were never a really good offensive team. So if the team was really that stacked and talented, you'd expect that to translate to the offense to be somewhat good. But it never was, which is why I think people overstate how good those Bill Russell teams were. And I think Bill Russell anchoring that defense is what made them so dominant, not just and, the fact that they had all this also around them. And also add that to the fact, Mars, that when Russ got on the team, defensively, they went through the roof as a unit, not just Bill mm-hmm. Russell. As a unit, they went through the roof. Russ's ability to rebound right. and... Hey, they was a, listen, they was a super team, KG, you know. They was a super team. Nobody's going to take that away. Oh, no, 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 I'm talk, hold on. I'm talking about how these teams get in chill. I've said this a chill a thousand times. It's the mentality of the player. I'm talking about players that are saying, okay, I can't do it here. So I want you, you, and you. Let's go and j- join up and try to beat the whole NBA. That's that. That's the mentality I'm talking about. Players, so for me, like it's like this, right? <clears throat> when you're drafted in a team and guys build up together, and some guy, like for example, you look at Memphis. They got John Moran. He comes up. Let's say uh, Desmond Bain comes up and to be a, a perennial All Star in the future. Let's say JJJ comes up to be a perennial All Star. So they got three All Stars. <clears throat> to me, I respect that play. It still may end up being a super team because of all of the, the factors, but it's different because it wasn't players who were already established getting together and saying, yo, we're going to But ticket, that doesn't mean that my because your general manager is doing a better job than my general manager that I got to stay at this job. Why do I have to stay here if my general manager is doing a terrible job? One, chill, let me ask you one question. Let me ask you one question. Before LeBron did that, it was more parity in the league. You had D. Wade in Miami. You had LeBron in Cleveland. You had Bosch in Toronto. You had T-Mac in uh Dwight Howard in Orlando. Yeah, in Orlando. You had KG, you had KG in Minnesota. KG, okay. So now, but even though KG, even though KG Dirk, did Dirk, it first. Dirk, Dirk Dallas, yeah, even though KG so, and Rayon. So my thing is this. You, we get more parity to really see who the best team is, right? So without you doing that, now we get to see who the real best players are because most of the players, right. you would have to, you know, step your game up, the superstar players, in order to carry your teams. So, but when you eliminate that, and now you give yourselves other superstars to be able to say, okay, now if I ain't getting it done, the other one can do what he can do. And oh, we mm-hmm. Okay, so let me ask, let me ask you a question, Ticket. Let me, and I, 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 I'll get back back to Bob there in in a second because I think you you were wrong on Bill Russell. But um, so let me ask you a question. The point of being an NBA player isn't to prove that I'm the best player. It's to win, right? It's to win chips. Some of them. It depends. Well, so it depends, 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 depends on your motive. Yeah. Yep. Depends on your motive. So if that is the goal, hold on. So if that is the goal mm-hmm. is to win as many championships as, chips as I can, and your guy Kobe right. and your guy Jordan both said that's the most important thing to them is winning chips. But they wasn't why doing wouldn't it. Yourself, why wouldn't you put yourself in the best p- position to they win? They wasn't doing it. Oh, okay, cheers. Oh, oh, Flo, let me ask you a they question. They didn't know they could. They, that, they, they didn't really know they could. They thought they had that's to. That's what I'm saying, though, no, Ticket, because because what you because because this is what you keep trying to let sell me, Ticket. You keep trying to sell me that these guys let when me, they got these general managers that are doing a great job. Dominique Wilkins would not have stayed in Atlanta today if he knew that's then what he knows now. Some some players did. Some players did. Some players did. This is a grown man conversation. You are underage. Hold on. So, like I said to you, uh, Fluent, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna answer your question, Fluent. If you you got a son. If your son goes to school, right, and he doesn't study, right? This this is Dub we're talking about. Floyd. And he and he and he goes to school, and they got a test on Friday. He hasn't he hasn't studied, but he takes a cheat sheet and goes and passes the test. He's still gonna be stupid because even though he took a cheat sheet and passed the test, <laughs> he's still not gonna know the answers. Right. Okay. But, but, but he's still, he's still gonna get that degree, though. But if my, but if my son, but if my son is, but if my son is, hold on, but if my son is smart, if my son is smart and he joins a debate team with a bunch of dummies at a bad school, so I send him to a better school where he has a better team and they win the debate and they win a prize, I would applaud him for that. No, but that's not what I'm saying. Hold on. That's what are you saying, Ticket? So, so I'm clear. What, what are you saying, Ticket? What I'm saying is, you took a dude like LeBron James. Who these dudes didn't learn how to crack the code. They to me, they, they and they was right there. He could have learned. He'd been to it. It wasn't like he didn't go to an NBA finals. It wasn't like they 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 was one of the bottom teams in the world. They were one of the best teams in the entire NBA. They were the best team in the whole league. They were picked to win the championship two years in a row, 66 and 60 games. So there's there should be no excuse. 
They got but, swept but, in hold the on. seven. You, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, let's just say Jokic is very valuable. Nikola Jokic is very top. This is a job. And if you're at a job where you don't like the moves that your bosses are making, you don't get along with the owner, which he didn't. That was clear. And you have an opportunity to go play for you have an opportunity to go play for a better GM in Pat Riley, who has a great reputation. You have an opportunity to play with a friend of yours in D Wade. And that better general manager. Also going to bring you in another top ten scorer from last year in the better league. Better co-workers, Y'all better like co-workers, it. better job, mm-hmm. better, 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 better weather. I'm going. Yes, better, I'm going. Yes. Hey, time. Better, I'm going better facility. Everybody. Now, You're ticket to your now ticket to now ticket to your point when you're talking about the school. Well, if I'm in a school and every year I'm failing because the teachers, the stuff that they're giving me is giving me an inability to pass, and now I have an opportunity wow. to go to a better school wow. and possibly I'm pass. Going. Yeah, if I can go to a better school and pass, then I'm going. Okay, so let me ask you this question, Chill. Yeah, and you know what? And I'll tell you why exactly. And, and, and then I'll leave it at this. I'll let leave let it at this. I could have right. I could have gone to any Canadian university I wanted to. Why did I choose to go play in the US? Ron, put me and Chilltown on the big screen. Somebody go up in the demolishes, dude. Right? So Chilltown, you're a liar, right? And I'm gonna tell you why. Wow. Chilltown. <laughs> LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers went to the NBA finals in 2007. They lost because of LeBron James' performance, not because of the owner. They got not there because of him. Oh, Ticket? No, that logic doesn't work. But I'm sorry. I apologize. Keep going. I'm speaking Keep facts. Going. This Keep is going. not lie. This is not Ticket coming on here, Captain. Right. These are facts. Right. They lost the 2007 NBA Finals because Yo King didn't show up. That's and, not true, man. Then, hold, not on, true. hold on, hold on. They didn't get swept just because of him. He wasn't the only reason why they got swept, Ticket. That is not true. That's not true. I'm going to put myself on mute. I'm going to put myself on mute after I finish this. They lost 2007 because LeBron James had the second worst finals that he's ever had. Then he stacks the deck. He goes to Miami and they lose the first championship in Miami. Why? Because of him. So all this, they're not doing this. They're not doing that. I don't want to hear that because he has lost two NBA championships because of him. Now, I will say this. The other years in the playoffs where they won 66 games, they won 60 games in Cleveland. I will give you that they had role players that underperformed in the playoffs. But the part where y'all not being fair is, is you guys don't hold LeBron James to the proper accountability when he failed. And he and listen, he didn't stay to beat the test. And I think he could have beat the test. I think if he would have stayed in Cleveland, he would have won championships. He did the same thing Jokic did and the same thing that Giannis did. But why would you stay with an owner you oh, hate? Now, now, why now, would you now, stay with now. an owner you hate? Forget the owner part. Toxic. Forget, forget, forget yeah. the owner part for a second. So, if you're telling me that he was the reason why they lost in 2007, that means that of those four lo- four straight losses, that also means that they could have won four straight because of him. That is unrealistic. There's no way that you believe that. Yes, it is. It's Hold unrealistic on. to believe that a team that had been together for as long as the San Antonio Spurs had been together and as good as they were at that point, James could have beat them. Four straight times. Hold on. What you're if, I'm well, not done. Not I'm not done. Go I'm go not go done. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, no chance. They had no chance. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Now, go ahead. now with that, also, now, liar, with, that bro, with, with, with that, with that also being said, with that also being said, when we move to 2011, he went over there because of what happened in Boston. These guys are a bomb squad. That's I lie. can't compete with that, and I can't, and That's I'm not going to be lie, able bro. to compete That's with that lie. with what with with what I have. That's I can't. Lie. I'm not going to be able to beat these guys. So the lie. reason why he left is because I am going to. I'm, I'm not going to stack the deck. What I'm going to do is I'm going to level the playing field. That's another lie. Because bro. I'm not beating Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Rajon Rondo, Ray Allen. I'm not beating those guys with the with the crew that he had. I'm not beating them with the crew that I have. I'm not. But don't, as, lo- but, as, as, as long as as long as I'm as long as I'm here in Cleveland, I'm not beating this crew. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go level the playing field. That's gonna be the idea. Okay, so that's gonna be the idea. But if we get back, but if we get back, let, let him finish right quick. Take it, let him finish. But if we get back to but if we get back to 2007 once again, if you're gonna say that he was the sole reason why they lost, then he also could have been the sole reason why they could have won, which means he could have been the reason why they won four straight, and that is unrealistic. Okay, well, Chester, let me ask you a question. In game four, they lost by one point. They was already down three games. They was already down three games at that point. Hold on, hold on. They were at home in game four and lost by one point. Did LeBron James not go 10 of 30 from the field that game? 
10 for 30. So 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 10 so 10 for 30. What about the what about the rest of the guys? Keep going, ticket. Don't just stop there. What about the rest of the guys? So if he plays better, so if he plays better, that means so if that 10 for Go ahead, keep, 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 keep going, ticket. Keep going. Let's go to game three. They lost by two points in game three. What mm -hmm. did LeBron James do in game three? Did he not shoot 33% from the field? Mm -hmm. So is that, listen, is that, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, if LeBron James would have played normal, not even the way he played against Detroit, just normal LeBron James, they probably win that series because three of those games, three, 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 three of those games, three of those games were decided, three of those games, three of those games, were decided by less than eight, eight, eight or nine points. Hey, hey, hey Ticket, how many times has a team won an NBA final when their second leading scorer doesn't play in the finals? The answer is zero. So, will we win a that's game? Not true. That's not yeah, true. Kar Karun Butler was missing for Dallas. When Karun Butler was out. So, yeah. you're wrong, sucker, for trying to take up for him. You're wrong. Well, okay, he's not one. trying to take up. No, uh -uh. One in 77 years. He's not, he, he's, he's not trying to take up for him. One in 77 right. years. Wow. Wow. So that wow. Dirk Nowitzki did not beat a super team. No, he did not. Dirk was a super team. No, they weren't. No, they were. I'm, I'm, I'm just over the super. I'm just over the super team logic, man. This is dumb, yo. How is Miami? How is Miami? No okay, how about this, Mars? Can you, can you tell me what the super team is? So, in, in this way, I can understand a little bit. To me, to me, to me, to me, there's no, there's no, there's no concrete definition. That was that was just an opinion. To me, the super team is three All NBA caliber players on one team. Right. That would make a team a super team. Or if you have now, two top five guys and then another like all-star caliber guy. Let's go, Mars. Let's bust their right. ass, Mars. So, so, no, so I'm not talking, but this is a brand man conversation. Is... I'm just saying this and then I have to step back. So, 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 so if you got, <laughs> if you got three top, if you got three all NBA caliber players yes. that were put together by a general manager as opposed to put together by both super these players. Teams. Both super so that so they're both super. I, I just need to understand what a super because I'm 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 foggy on what exactly a super team is. To me, I, to I, me, I, it's not it's I, not just if you join in free agency. It's, right. If, you, if a team is drafted, if if James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and KD all stayed together and they right. blossom, super. Right. Team. I mean, that's a, right. a super team. A super, a super, team, is a, a super team. team is a lazy person's way of explaining why their team lost or their team or their team won. That's what the super yeah, team. To, is. to me, to me, it's not a derogatory term. If a team's a super team, I'm not using it to dismiss right, them. Mm -hmm. That's why. Had, I, that's why I think OKC okay, could have been a super team. team. A Miami sport, was a super team. Yeah, those are, no, those might be teams that played super. No, it's hold on. Not only that. Hold on, Floyd. Not only that, Floyd. He beat Kobe Bryant. Not only that, Floyd. Not only that. He beat Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. In their primes, so let's cut it Dirk, out. Dirk didn't even have playoff. Last time, last time when I brought that up, y'all was like, "But his his ankle was the size of a grapefruit." So so yeah, let's 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 get, let's get out of let's get out of this this one and go back. Uh, we'll go back in the time machine a little Lord, further. Lord, how could Bill Russell? Breathe, how could breathe. Bill Russell, averaging nine points, twenty one rebounds, and five assists? Be the twenty one nine and five. That's twenty one nine and five. Twenty one nine and five is crazy. Seven, hold on, the seventh one and four. Hold on, the seventh leading star. Twenty one nine and team. six. How could he? How could he be the MVP when you have a guy in Havlicek averaging twenty eight, eleven, and four and a half? Russ, I mean, Wes Unsell won the won he's the finals winning. MVP. He's he not winning. Wes, Wes Unsell won the won finals, finals MVP. He averaged nine points, Bill eighteen Russell rebounds. Won that MVP. So Wes Un, so, so, so Wes so Unsell did. Are you trying to disprove? Are you trying to disprove? Are you trying to disprove my? Are you trying to disprove my theory of prejudice in the NBA in 1969? Is that what you're trying to do right That's now? That's what it sounds like. No. No. <laughs> That's what hey, it sounds like. Hey, I'm trying to prove your bad basketball logic. The other okay. thing's probably true. The other I, thing I, is I true. I'm yeah. listening to you, yeah. Ticket. Absolutely true. I was, I was probably wrong about that, Paul. Hey, I was probably wrong about that. two brothers, and I'm going to leave this alone. Start, start from the top, Ticket. Start from the top. Here's the reason why I don't give LeBron James no excuses, bro. Right? And I want y'all to think about this. Paul George almost beat that same Miami Heat super team in seven games. In the, in the conference finals, <clears throat> Dirk Nowitzki went through the gauntlet without a super team. He went through the gauntlet with role players. He had he got dudes out here make, putting right. Jason Terry in damn near best player, one of the top players in the league talks, and he wasn't. He was Jay, Kidd, Jay Kidd might not have been who he was on, at on, that on, point, but I'm not going to call it. I'm not going to call it. Hold on, Bob. Hold on, Bob. Hold on, Bob. You know what I'm my whole point is this, Bob. Bob, this is my whole point. Dirk lost the first NBA Finals to the Miami Heat, right? He comes back. He didn't switch teams. He didn't go make this super team. He comes back really with a lesser team because Karan Butler got hurt. Nobody was saying Karan Butler was the creme de la creme of the NBA. That wasn't a lesser had, team. Had, to get 11 was better than those six. He had an old sure. Sean Marion. He had an old, old J-Kid. He, he had a rookie J.J. Barea. 
and he had a he had a role player in Jason Terry. That's Tyson who he Chandler, beat. Tyson Chandler. Hold on. And Tyson and, Ty, and Big Tice. That's who he beat. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and in a prime with. Hold on. That's who he beat Kobe Bryant and Powell the Soul with. That's who we beat Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant with, bro. That's incredible. Thanks, thanks. So that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. I, listen, if Chilltown will sit up here, if Floyd will sit up here and they tell you that they don't think LeBron James was great enough. Hold on. That's, that's the last question I got. Chilltown, I'm going to ask you this one question. You put LeBron James and change to Dirk Nowitzki. You think he could have did the same thing Dirk did with the Yeah. Dirk? Yes. So why he ain't staying uh, in, in, in Cleveland then, clown? Because they wasn't the conversation over something. I'm so sick of ticket with got, this bullshit ass got, logic, got, man. I'm tired say, of him with this, yo. It, it was a fluke tell, that me... one year. No, no, Bob. I'm sick of him with this bullshit logic. It was a fluke that one year. How come you don't talk about the fact that Dirk Nowitzki, after they beat Miami in 2011, you know he played eight more seasons after that, right? Got out of round one. You know how many times? Zero. He Zero times win. he got out of round one. He so it was a fool what he did. That's he number no one. Team. Number two, I'm so sick of you talking about James like there's no excuses for him. How come you don't hold everybody else to that standard? I That's do. great. How come you he don't hold run. Kobe Bryant he to that standard? He the first run. time you talk he about Kobe Bryant, if, if, if I'm not mistaken, did I not hear Kobe Bryant say, quote, I want to be traded? Did he, did he not he? say that? And that was leave? not, you know why he didn't leave? It wasn't because he didn't want to. He didn't leave because Mitch Kupchak knew for a fact I am not trading Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal on my watch. That is no, not happening. Not I am going to get I am going to get this guy some players and I'm going to give him an opportunity to he win. I am not trading him. That's he not going to happen. No, but no, he no. asked that's out. There's no Check question that. about it. He asked out. Not no, only did he ask out right. in 2004, if Shaquille O'Neal doesn't get traded, Kobe Bryant is out. Right, hold he on, is gone. Hold on. That is not my opinion. That's a fact. I got so to go back. You talking about this dude? Is he going to you talking about this dude? Like he's the only one. Because that's not true. He tried to leave. He tried to leave. I'm sick of you talking about him like that. Because that's not true. But look, but conspiracy to commit a mistake is a felony. How many times? How many times? He wanted out. How many times has the team won an NBA championship with with without their second leading scorer? You said what? I need to go back to a question. How many times has a team won an NBA championship without their second leading scorer? Karan Bala was their second leading scorer. I guess he, he was, was not. A, sir, was that's a lie. Back I guess he was their was third leading game. scorer. <laughs> he was their third leading scorer. Who was the second leading scorer? Jason, Jason Terry. Jason Terry. And now you're more fluent. That, during that season. <laughs> <laughs> during that season. Were you capping for super teams too, Chump? You capping for super teams? <laughs> I'm all I'm asking. All I'm asking, Chump, is that. All I'm asking you to do is hold everybody <laughs> that you I hold. When you it. hold him to that, no, you don't. No, you do not, because you Who don't do hold Bryant to that standard. Come you on, don't. Come on. You do question. not. Hold on, one question. One question. One question. When Kobe Bryant wanted out, did he want to go to a super team or not? He was did in he Chicago go to looking for team? houses. I, no, no. When LeBron James left, if he left and went to any other team except for a super team, I don't say nothing. He left and went and formed a super team. Negro. You keep saying he went. He went and formed. You right? He, he didn't went and formed a super, super team. team ticket. He did Kobe not Bryant do that. Pat Riley. Pat Riley formed, formed a super team nigga, when they was trash. Cut it out. Wait. What, what was that last part? Say that last part again. Ticket. Kobe Bryant left and wanted to go to the strippers when they were trash. Cut it out. You mean you mean the Clippers that was a playoff team that was, was they, they, they were one round they, they were they, they, they were one they round were away. Pull they, it out right oh here. my God! They were trash. This this the same this the same Clipper team that on, two years the, later on, they were a round away from going to the Western Conference Championship. What I'm asking is what, what I'm asking is, is for you to be consistent with your logic when it comes. No, you're not. No, you are not. Stop talking like this dude didn't ask out. He wanted to get away from Shaq. He asked out. That's the point. He did ask out. LeBron James ran to a super team. Kobe Bryant ran away from not, a great he did player. Not run, run, out, man. He did not run from a super team. Okay, so let's run people thought we'd never see Skip and Shannon again. <laughs> this ain't no, hey, hold on. No, this is necessary. And 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 me and Ticket and I ain't never disrespect Ticket either. We ain't doing that. That's it. That's all we do. Point to is this: I don't care if LeBron would have left and just went to a regular team, even if we went to a team with one star. But when you went to a super team. That changes the narrative. That Ticket, he did go to a team with one star. It was Pat Riley who put that other stuff together. That wasn't him. Right. They that already was not him. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. They had already, hold on. They originally planned for it to be him, D-Wade, and Carmelo. Okay, Melo so Carmelo didn't show up. So let's dead hold Carmelo. On, right. Hold on, hold on. So they went and recruited Chris Bosh. Okay, no, they did not. They so had Brian nothing to do with that. that. Hold on, so Brian didn't know he was going to play with Chris Bosh. Oh, no, he did not know that. Oh, you, know, you know why he didn't know that? Once again, 
Well, no, I'm not a liar. It was Pat Riley who what? said, quote, what? I could get you Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh was not a part of the deal. What? So let's kill that logic right what? now. This, this that is a here. fact. That is not my opinion. That is a fact. Pat Riley it? told both of them, I can get you Chris Bosh. That's what he it? said. He originally came to there. He originally I, came I, to Miami actually, to play with his man. I, actually, That's a what he fact. said was, what he, actually, what he said was, if you both take a little less money, I can get you Chris Bosh. Okay, let me. I, 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 I left that part out. If you both take a little less money, I can get you this guy. So that's a fact. Okay, and I also got a quote right here where LeBron James says him and D Wade went and recruited Chris Bosh. Now what? When did he say that? When? Right, hold on, hold on, Ron. Hold on, we're going to put it on the screen, Ron. Hold Give me on. a break. Come on. on. I ain't gonna break. Break. I'm going to break your ass off. Hold you on. ain't breaking nothing, homeboy. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Nothing. Hey, Damo. Focus, Damo. Hey, man, shit, man, shit, man. Focus, Damo. Hey, yo. Anyway. Y'all crazy as hell. Man. I just, I, I, I. Hey, Ron, I'm going to send you the link right now. Yep, right? Yep. I'm going to send you the link right now, and we're going to eat to this dude. We're going to eat to these two. We're going to eat the guns and buns up here, the new guns and buns. So we, so we agree that no one has lost their second leading score and won a chip, right? I just want to be clear on that oh. one. What was, the, what, was, what was the difference in points per game between Corona and Point eight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if it was point zero one. Right. It was crazy. So the point, the, 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 point, the point is, is that joining super teams. So like, Mars, you just mentioned to me, when you talk about super teams being all NBA caliber players, three of them, right? So now I, I got a better understanding of what a super team is. I just I, I think the problem that I'm having is when I hear the term super team, I'm thinking to myself, like the, the Avengers or something like that, like th this is what's coming together. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. You know, I remember the Lakers. I remember Moses Malone when he got on Philly and how excited everybody was when Moses got on Philly. It wasn't like, yo, what is he doing? No, it was like, yo, they're going to end up playing the Lakers in the finals. And he's going to go up against Jabal, and he's going to be the difference. It wasn't, yo, he's joining a quote-unquote super team. It was a big deal that that had happened at that point, right? So I didn't think of this, the Boston Celtics as a super team. I didn't think of the Bulls as a super team, as good as they were. I never, I, I, I never felt like that about them. I don't think about the Cleveland Cavaliers as a super team when, when James came back there. I, I, I just didn't think about them. And the reason why I don't think about them like that, even though you just mentioned all NBA caliber players, Yo, Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love, zero playoff appearances before he got with James. Zero. So there was nothing going on with these dudes before they even got with James. So the idea of him joining, quote unquote, a super team, those guys had done nothing before he got with him, before they got with him. So I, 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 I think the super team logic is what I'm having you a difficult know, hey, time and with. Hey, you were wrong. Udonis Haslam told the story correct. They didn't take pay cuts for each other. They all took pay cuts so they could re-sign Udonis Haslam because Haslam right, he was going. He was going to. He was on his way to. He was on his way to Dallas. So now, he, now you're more fluent. Sucker. He was on his way. To, he was on his way to Dallas. So, so they did take pay cuts to join each other. I pass you. I pass you a cigar, my brother. Yeah, uh, mine's uh, better. Yeah. We got to move on. We got to move yep. on. Living the uh, local. Alan R said, "Need narrative Mars to go insane today." I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe hey, tomorrow. Hey, chill. Love you, baby. You already know how we get down. Huncho with the Super Chat said, 1978 West Unsailed in my top five. But that's not, that, I, yeah, I wanted to ask, do you think Elvin yeah. Hayes was robbed? Yes, 100%. He went, I think he went 21 and twenty one and 12 in that series, and they went, they won in a dog fight against uh, against Hall of Fame and Jack yeah. against Jack Sigma. Absolutely. He should have won the finals MVP. For, for West Unsailed to average nine points and 18 boards, and to win the finals MVP, I was like, what the hell yeah, is going you on? Can't, you can't average nine points and 18, 19, 20 rebounds and expect to be MVP, Bob. Did you hear that? Because if that's the because if that's the because if that's the case, then Dennis Rodman should have won the finals MVP in 96. <laughs> I think he had a case. But um, I don't I don't know how I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what Wes Unsold averaged, but I, I think I, it was, I, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, Miles, I think it was nine points and like 18 or 19 boards, something like that. So someone in the chat will have less reference. But hey, um, you have to do the player's choice on my channel one I mean, day because I'm tired of coming on the road every single day. I got the whole goddamn panel and the crowd against me every single day. Y'all gonna have to play some away games over here and see how I feel because this shit is crazy. I come in the den every single day and bring it. So y'all can say whatever y'all want to say in the comment section. Cap for Chill Town, cap for fluent. But if you bring your ass around my world, cap for fluent. Like, the chat I is want cap to, I want to see you come drop forty on the road. Period. Never. C. Cole, eight years? Eight years. Okay, uh, let, let's let's just say for the sake of argument, that's true that he broke the crew up. Eight years, though? Eight years. 
So we can't get out of the first round for eight more years after that. That's the logic. But see, this what I don't want to get into this conversation. Nine and eleven. I don't want to get into this conversation, but that's why I say I don't like the anyone even using the whole super team logic because most people, Mars, to since you said not everybody, most people use it in a negative light. They use it to say, Oh, this person won only because, or my team lost, right? I'll use LeBron James, the perfect example. He only won because he joined a super team. Oh, he only lost to the Warriors because they were a super team. So right. that those are all excuses, bro. Those are all excuses. That's I don't like the term used at all. All right, fellas, moving along. ASAP Henny got a question for Ticket. He said, Ticket, you taking Zion or Ja? Guns or buns? Mm. I'm taking I'm taking guns because if somebody run up on me, that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be on the court. He's gonna, he gonna, he gonna be on the, gonna be on the court. Zion gonna be somewhere in the bed. <laughs> All right, no doubt. Angie Carr with the super chat. She said Isaiah's 25 point third quarter on a bum ankle is fire. Mm-hmm. Facts. Still has, still has, what was that about? Still what has, that we were talking I think about we were talking about finals performances. Finals, yeah, finals performances. MVP. Isaiah wasn't the finals MVP that year, though. They that, lost uh, that, yeah, they did. They lost to the, to the Lakers, and James Worthy was mm-hmm. the finals MVP. James Worthy was there. Even though it should have been magic, but. Should have been magic. Yeah. So magic got one he didn't deserve. Yeah, ma- magic, magic, magic should have a different. He evened out. He evened out. Yeah. Andre B said, "West unsailed. Worst Finals MVP, averaging nine points." Jerry West is worse, but yeah. you telling me he got the Finals MVP? And Being hey, Finals MVP on a losing team is pretty nuts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Jerry, Jerry West is lost. West the epitome of praise and losing, right there. Like, watch me praise and losing, man. Y'all gotta watch the actual games to see the. Thought he was gonna win though. <laughs> oh, Over Russell Martin, long. worthy, worthy, overrated. Oh, we banning you. We banning you. Crazy. Leaving Ali crazy. said, "Of course, ticket won't mention LeBron in his list." I don't have to. It's fine. I don't, this think, the list, I don't think the list was that bad. Yeah, the list wasn't bad. Him. I agree with most of it. I mean, the only reason why I put Giannis over that is because he was hurt. <laughs> There's probably 15 finals MVPs you could put top five. You, you, someone's going to be left out. Mm-hmm. Match. Drink more water said worst number twos on a finals winning team. Mm. Oh, oh uh, y'all, 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 y'all really want to do this? Y'all really want to do this? Worst number twos? <laughs> the worst number, hold on. The worst number two on a finals winning team? Y'all really want to do this? I don't know. In, my, the in, my, in my opinion, I don't know. Whoever not. Whoever's Rick Barry's number two was in 75, in my opinion. Mm. So I wasn't around. I know that was very good. Outside of that, had to have been Dirk Nowitzki that year. Outside Jason of that. Jamal, in the finals. I think Jamal, 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 Jamal Wilkes was on that Jamal team. Jamal Wilkes was on that team. He was. Yeah, was, but that was, that was a younger Jamal. Oh, who was outside Hakeem's that, number two in 94? Uh, who would you Dirk call his number two? Hakeem, 94. Yeah, Kenny Smith. Kenny Smith? That's pretty bad. No, because what you call was on that team? Clyde. No, no, no that's not Clyde. Was Clyde, Clyde, Clyde was 94. 94. You're talking about the first one. You're talking about the first one. The first one. Yeah, the first one. Was it not Otis uh, Thorpe? I thought Otis Thorpe was the number two. Otis, I, I, was he not? Think, oh, whether it's think, Otis Thorpe, Kenny Smith, Kenny uh, Smith Martin, Sam Cassell. Yeah, wait, 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 it's, it's, one, it's one of them. It's a plethora of names you can name. Oh, yeah. They're all, it'll all be the worst. Yeah, I feel it. I, I think Jamal. Yeah, was, was, hey, do y'all think I Kenny think. Smith was better than? Um, I mean, do y'all think that Jason Terry was better than Kenny Smith at that time? No, no. I had Jason Terry as as, as a, the worst number two. And yeah, I'm sorry. Not, I, 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 I think it's Jamal Lewis. I think it's Jamal. I, I got my uh, I got my facts screwed up. I said that I rookie, said that, uh, rookie Jamal Lewis before everyone starts. I said that West Unsell averaged 18 Jamal. rebounds in that uh in that um that finals. He didn't. But he aver- he averaged 18 rebounds the year he won the league MVP as a rook. His, his, yeah, his rookie. Yeah. That that that's where I got my facts screwed up. My fault. He might be the worst MVP and Finals MVP. I said that. Yeah, I'm, people were mad at me. I said he's the worst. Uh, he's the worst MVP in history. I think Eagle Dow was the only number two to get a uh, finals MVP, actually. Was he a number two? Was he a number two? That number number was four. number four. Five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Was he? Hold on. Who talking about with Iggy? What happened? Huh? They said Iggy. Yeah. He yeah. said Iggy was like the number four on that team. Y'all dudes always talk about people lying. Sometimes I get my facts screwed up. I apologize. But I'm not lying. Get it together. We're, 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 we're not going to remember every stat from every year. Sorry. Every 
I'm not, I'm, I'm not in, in, lying. Understand what lying means. Lying is I am intentionally trying to deceive you. I'm not doing that. We're not like low. We don't have you know basketball reference mm. just sitting on like a screen. Mm. Like we we work with one screen. I think he takes <clears> stat meters, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Lobi having some crazy stats right now. Oh, bro. stat meters. I don't think probably that's got accurate. A lot of the stuff. A lot of the stuff that I rem- I, I just I'm, I'm I'm not trying to brag or anything like that. I just remember a lot of the stuff that the, and and sometimes I forget. And sometimes I forget stuff and. I or apologize if I, if I was wrong, wrong. I'll get a year wrong. I'll get don't, ap- hey, chill wrong. Down. don't apologize for not using no cheat sheet, my G. And there's yeah, nothing wrong with you. The problem I'm having is I'm so that version the 78 finals. I'm like, there's nothing wrong with The problem I'm having, ticket, is that like people people will say that I'm lying. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not lying. I'm not intentionally trying to tell y'all something that's not true. No, I do know that West Unsell averaged 18 boards. Well, wait a minute, he did that as a rookie. There's nothing That's wrong with looking stuff up. Listen, I I I thought Karan Butler was the second leading scorer, and he wasn't. Sure, it was kind of glad that I looked it up. Point eight mm. points. But I don't care. I don't care. The real Jake Carpenter said 2014 Heat was the most underrated team to completely get blown out in the finals the way they did by an old Spurs team. Okay, first of all, number it's one, the biggest margin of victory, right, in the history of the finals. They weren't underrated. That Spurs team. Yeah, every loss was double digits. I yeah, say. and it wasn't underrated. I mean, that Spurs team was awesome. I think they won sixty-two games that year. They was they had the number one seed in the Western Conference. They were still awesome. So it wasn't like they lost to a to a quote unquote bum team, an old Spurs team. Tim Duncan was first team all all. I was about to say first team All American. He was first team All NBA the year before that, and he was second team All Defense. So he was still playing at a high level. Tony Parker was in year what twelve. 13, something like that. Ginobili, he was in year 10 or 11 because he had just showed up in 2003. So, did he say it was an underrated Spurs team? Underrated uh, Miami. And, Heat. I think he said that he oh. was underrated, but I think he meant to say overrated because he was just they, dissing the whole oh. team. So, I guess, yeah, yeah that's yeah. Right. And Alan yes, R. Yes, said, you got to watch too. You're right. Yeah. Alan R. said, Is it crazy to say 2020 Braun? He was great. He it is crazy because I don't he, think he, wouldn't, he wouldn't be a match on five. No, I was about to say he was arguably the second best player on the team. Yeah, that you can make an argument. AD, again, AD was my Finals MVP for twenty twenty. Yeah, you can make an argument that Anthony Davis. Steve, don't forget about defense. Mm. He also led that team in points, rebounds, yeah, and blocks. To be the best yeah. defender consistently the entire series, and also match LeBron's production damn near on a night basis on the offensive yeah. end. Come on, bro. At least scoring wise, I'm sorry, scoring wise. Yeah, smart. We know what you meant. Angie Carr said Zion 23 postseason run deep. He's unstoppable. <laughs> I'm telling you, hey, hey Tone, I'm telling you, we're gonna put together a collage of Angie Carr. <laughs> I got them. I just need to launch yeah, them. I just need to I don't know if it's all at them. once or do a, a separate one for each. Because Angie Here's don't the play. Is the Angie go. goes. It, Angie I have goes all the after. graphics. I have all the graphics <laughs> and animation ready. It it's just do I put them all at once or just spread them out? MPNKA said, start bench cut, Harden, Iverson, Clyde. Mm. Bench Harden. Bench Harden. Bench, uh, excuse me, cut Harden, bench AI, and start uh, Clyde. Perfect. 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 Yep, Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm I'm starting Harden and benching Clyde. Why are you starting James Harden? What's your... I I think he's the best player of the three. So he better at basketball? Yep. So that, which I can, I, I know that, that a lot of times, Mars, that's your argument because the guy's just better at basketball, which is cool. But clack, 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 clack. Pardon? You think James Harden is better than a prime Clyde Jersey? Yeah, but I don't think he's far off. Like, I'm not about to say, oh, he clears him. I, if you right. want to say Clyde over Harden, I am about to argue because yeah, I can't right. say, I can't you say think, James Harden. Well, you think Everson's by far the worst? Not by far. I think, I think that, yeah, I think I can I mean, understand Clyde, the argument. Clyde Jersey did take his team to NBA Finals, bro. Twice. Finished second in the league in MVP votes the year ninety two. It was a even though and ticket will I'm, I'm I'm sure ticket I'm sure Five ticket will agree with this. It was a conversation Damo back between in nineteen ninety two between who was the better player between him and Jordan. I don't I didn't think it was a conversation. I was like, no, he's not better than Jay. Narrative. But there was a there was a conversation that was going on between who was the best two guard between Jay and Drex, and I was like, yeah, no, he I feel like that's like a. I feel like that's mm. like a Kobe McGrady conversation. Was, well, no, what it, what 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 it, what it, what it, what it, what's that supposed to mean, Dumbo? Huh? 
is levels. Like Kobe McGrady. Yeah, I think I think it's more like a Chris uh, Paul, Darren Williams conversation. I mean, yeah. everyone, everyone, everyone knew Chris Paul. Well, team, Kobe, he's he's well, what? What? Got well, oh, chill. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> I know you don't want to do it, Ma. What you got, Ma? I'm sorry, y'all, Ron. Deep Op Smoker say a ticket and chill show would go crazy. Hey, we, I, I put him in, but just so y'all know. I, I, I pull up the I, I pull up the ticket neighborhood on the regular, and me and Ticket That's go right. at it, and the, and the views go up just like Ticket is pulled up to my neighborhood, and the Legendary. views go up. So we, I, it, this this ain't something that me and Ticket just do here. Ticket has invited me to his place, and I've been over the Ticket place too. So and I'm, been waiting, to my to place go, I'm too, waiting to go to so. Fluent Open Up Shop because I'm gonna mm -hmm. come over there. I'm a guy. I'm a man. It's gonna get real nasty. Mm -hmm. Keeping it pushing. Uh, Slim Jimmy said, Change his name to Bigot TV now. Why is that? Because of the I language. Like Robinson. Why is that? Oh. <laughs> Lit, <laughs> Lit, <laughs> Lit, Lit 17 <laughs> said, Congratulations to Ticket for beating the KG allegations. You already know. I'm a free man. Did the Slack. poll come back not in this suit? I didn't even look at the poll. No, it came, it came back guilty. I thought so. You could thank that. Slack Carl said eight months ago, Ticket said KG underachieved with a Boston super team. Yeah. Literally, it's a short on the channel. But I, that doesn't mean he stopped the deck. He said Boston was a super he team. Did. He, I, he did. He deck. did underachieve with them. I mean, I think they should have won more championships. I if it's in the literal now, now ticket in the literal oh, term, goodness. yes, they did underachieve as a crew. If, if but we, we say LeBron underachieved with Miami and he won 50% of the time, damn it, KG underachieved with Boston. Come on, bro. They say LeBron underachieved with Miami and he won two out of four. K Nobody KG, really thinks that. Like, how can you yeah, underachieve and you win two out of four? A lot of people think that because because you know, I've, 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 heard, I've, only, I've only heard Crunch say that. Your goofy ass up. No, I don't. Like, I've, I've only heard Crunch say that. You don't think you should have won three? Yeah, they should have. They should have won. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I think they won two out of four. That's. I don't know what they should have did. Two out of four is crazy. Well, they said they was gonna win six or seven, Bob. So you yeah. go. You, if you if you oh, they didn't say that. You go to four. James said that. If you go to four, said that. If you, right, if you go to four finals, if you go to four uh, four NBA finals, bro, right? Mm -hmm. You go to four. My biggest, my biggest question is how come no one ever talks about how come no one ever talks about LeBron quitting on Miami? Why does no one ever bring that up? Well, well, fluent. Here's why it's under. What does that mean, Tone? Well, well, mean, well, I get a lot of people. I get a lot of people on my channel being like, "Jordan's a three-time quitter, not like right. LeBron. LeBron played out his contracts." And I'm like, "Well, Jordan quit, if you want to call it quitting, in in '93 at first retire, but the second time he his contract was over and he walked away. And then the third time it was a one-year contract, he walked away. So that's not quitting by their definition because he played out his right. contract. And I said, so if that's the if that's the level of measurement is playing out your contract, well, LeBron signed a six-year deal with Miami and he only played four, so he quit." If that's their logic, I know that's not your logic. So how did right. that work? How did he get back to Cleveland? Because he he opted out of his he had a player option. He had a player option. Oh, okay. Well, that's not quitting. That's not quitting. And Jay didn't really Jay didn't really quit in in ninety eight. He got ran off. He didn't want to play. He didn't want to quit. His contract was up though. His contract right. Even though his contract was up, he still didn't want to quit. He wanted to keep playing, and he wanted to keep playing in Chicago. He didn't want to play nowhere else. But chill in, in ninety in ninety three. What was his contract? Was his contract up? No, no his contract he, he, he was still getting paid by the Bulls. He was still getting paid by the Bulls. He was still getting paid. He still had. He still had two more years. That's, that's a, yeah, that's one hundred percent quit. Being a quit. Yeah, yes, one hundred percent quit. LeBron, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm just trying to, just trying to say, like, with LeBron having two years of player option, then you got it's your option. I don't consider that quit. Right. I call, I call that a smart contract. Okay. Moneybag Joe said, can we just admit Chef Curry got robbed for finals MVP when Iggy won it in 2015? He should have yes. two finals MVPs now, correct? He well, let me ask you a question, Mars. Is it yes. is it fair to say when you give it to Iggy in that particular situation, do you now devalue the finals MVP? I Almost think, universally. I think the idea, I think ESPN were pushing a narrative and everyone bought into the notion that Andre Iguodala was locking up LeBron James. If you remember, and you go back, all, all pre-games, they're showing Iguodala getting strips or contesting shots. And I believe instead of focusing on Steph Curry being the best performer on the Golden State Warriors and the fact that Iguodala actually wasn't locking him up, 
Um, I think it swayed the minds of voters, and I think it de- that's probably the start of where the fans MP got devalued. But throughout history, there's been a bunch of fans where I'm like, okay, this guy didn't deserve it. 1988, James Worthy is one of them. I don't think he deserved it. That there's a there's a bunch throughout history that I'm like, okay, that one doesn't really make sense. But I think Iguodala is probably one of the more egregious ones in recent. Hold on. So you said, hold on. You said you said the, the, the first championship they won when Iggy won uh, the Finals MVP against the, against the Cavs. You mm-hmm. just said what, Mars? I, well, I said a lot. Which part did you not like? No, no, no. Okay, well, let, let me. I'm gonna say this for you because you said. Because it was after what game was he inserted into the starting lineup in game three, right? Uh, they were, they were down a few four. one, so I think it was game four. Okay, so game, game four, he was inserted into the starting lineup. I believe so. Yeah, I could be wrong, game, but I believe that so. game in game four, and I'm I'm using the stats now, so I'm a stat here. Uh <laughs> they they won that game by 21 points. Yep. So when they put Iggy in the starting lineup, he played 39 minutes. He scored 22 points, which was a leader, which was a leader for the team in scoring, tied with Steph Curry. Uh he also had eight rebounds, which led the team almost in that game as well. And that game that he uh, that he started, LeBron James shot 31% from the field and 25 from the three. That was game four, that game. The next game, he started again uh, in the very next game, right, uh, mm-hmm. for LeBron James. They won 104 to 91 when he started the very next game, right? That game, LeBron James shot 44% from the field. And 37% from the three that game. So Better. that was the second game he started, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that was the second game Iggy started in that that's series. That's game five now. Yeah, that's right. game five. Right. Game yeah. where Steph had one of his best playoff games of his career, by the way. In that game. Game to the next game, right? So game you six. the next game, they mm-hmm. won 105 to 97. To that game. Yep. In that game, uh, Iggy, uh, in that game, led the yep. team in scoring. Yeah, 25. Game. Yeah, yeah, 25. 25. Mm-hmm. And then also LeBron James that game uh, shot 39% from the field and 20 from the three. That's the reason right. why they gave him the finals MVP because LeBron's averages was extremely low to what he what he was putting up before they put him in the lineup. Well, and, and when you what, now when now when you just look at the numbers ticket, that's what it looks like. But when you also talk about how they were defending James, because it wasn't like Iguodala was primarily his defender the entire game. He was, like he was getting switches. He was getting switches, right? He was getting double. There, there was stuff like that going on. Bro, this nigga capitalized records for LeBron James, man. That, 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 that was that was that was going on. Now it's not like it, it's not like it was it was it was Joe Dumas against Jordan, and yo, you on an island, and it's just you and him. That wasn't going on, ticket. And you know that that wasn't going on, bro. So we go. Hold on, we go. Really, you know that that wasn't going on. But he did. Now I will tell you this, ticket. Now I will tell you this. I will say that Andre Iguodala he made a huge impact, a huge impact on what was going on in that series. Because up until that point, up until that point, Cleveland had Cleveland had control of that series. They were up. Hey, well, I'm gonna say they this right. I'm, I'm gonna say this to you, Chill Town. I, I don't. I don't like giving. I don't like giving the Finals MVP. Now, listen, there's a lot of guys. We can go through the history of guys who've come in weren't starters who became starters had big games had great series and they didn't all win at finals mvp i i i I think that who meant more to that team for not as great as iggy was for that team if you take the other if you take steph out there they're not there they're not even there. I, 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 no, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like that. I don't, I, I don't like that. Steph just played better than him. They didn't do the same logic no. for Jimmy in the Eastern Conference Finals. They said the Eastern Conference Finals MVP should have been Martin. Yeah. So so now, so because of how Martin played, even though Jimmy averaged more points, rebounds, and assists than Martin, right? But his percentages weren't as good. We can say the same thing about LeBron James. And, and, don't, and when Iggy was moved into the starting lineup, they won three straight games and closed out the series. So, so that changed the whole complexion of the series versus what they were doing from the start. And then you got to still put that into effect to where uh, Curry still had that game where everybody was saying he, that uh, Della Vadova locked him up. Game two. Yeah, it was I a game and a half. Game, and then he finally shook loose in the second half of the next game. Hey, Chil- Ron. I want Chil- to say this to you. And to LeBron James, to all of your people that's watching, you need to fire every single person that you have securing LeBron James and all of his bodyguards. And hire this nigga Chill Town, man. <laughs> <laughs> but don't nobody secure the problem for better than Chill oh, You're the best in the world, bro. They need to go ahead and hire you today. I, no, no ticket. I, I, first and foremost, when you when I talk about James, I'm critical of him. I'm just not as critical of him as you are. That's all. I am, I am critical. I'm dirt. critical of him. And I and He's I talk about dirt. him. I don't talk about him in a derogatory way, but I talk about him when what I've seen isn't good. I do that. 
But I don't. I'm not like you are, where everything that comes out of your mouth is slander. You roast him on a regular. I think he's one of the greatest players ever played basketball. Hold on, I think he's one of the greatest players ever played basketball. I'm just saying, I think LeBron James is greater than uh, Jokic. I think he's greater than uh, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think he's greater than Dirk Nowitzki. Why couldn't he do what they did? All you had to do was stay 10 toes down. You said yourself you believed that LeBron James could have did the same thing what Dirk did with the same roster, which is beat a super team and go through Kobe, go through KD, go through Russ, and all those other dudes. You said you thought LeBron could do the same thing. If so, why leave Cleveland when you were winning 66 games? Why not just stay 10 toes down and go push through? I don't want to hear the Boston Celtics as an excuse because Dirk didn't use it as an excuse when he beat up LeBron James and them. That's all I'm saying, Chill Town. If he's as great as we say he is, then he should I, – I personally think – I'm not, and this is not cap. I think LeBron James would have won a championship with the Cavs. I, if he would have never left, I think he would have won a chip. And, and if he won – okay, so what? He wins one or he wins two. No, no, I actually win one. But he hold knows on, his four. legacy he needs to get to six. I, but he's going to win – hold on, Fluent. But I, this, this was early in his career, though. Remember, LeBron, this was, this was before 10, 10 years. So I'm, I'm saying to you, I, I think that after he won – because you know how it is, Fluent. After you win one, now – it's the hunger for more. Now, it's to who else are we going to add on here and we're going to get because more people going to want to come play with you when you win. So that's exactly what happened with Giannis in Milwaukee. Look at everybody that went over there taking pay cuts want to go over there and play. Jay Crowder, uh, what you call it, want to go uh, went over there. Uh, old but, ball, the, the good but, the flip side, but the flip side of that ticket is they win one. Cleveland as a city is happy. Uh, was it Dan Gilbert as an owner is happy because they won one. And they end up like Dirk who never goes to the playoffs again. They end up like Giannis. I know it's only been a couple of years. Who never goes back to the finals again. There's so many times where they but we think you, hold on, but we never him, go back again. But we pick, hold on, but you're fluent. You're right. But don't talk Don't talk down to your Greek, brother, because we pick Giannis every single year. We picked him to be one of the final four teams. I'm so just saying, I, as, I'm using him as an example. You can okay. use a million examples. Dan Marino goes to the finals once, and they're like, oh, he's going to be back so many more times. Never goes to the Super Bowl again. I like, there's think so that, many, though. I did. Right, there's I so many Dan situations where never once back you again. win, you're never you're never back again. So yeah. as much as what you're saying is true that they could win and they have the hunger for more, but the flip side could be true where the ownership and whatever are like, hey, let's cut some costs, let's ride out this victory. In Toronto, they still talk about that championship. That's oh, that's not all they're selling. The perfect and example is the Lakers. Even as they hire some dude we've never heard of. The right the Lakers, bro. They had a championship it's... roster and they traded all those pieces away. And now look, KCP's got another chip. Uh, what you call has got another what you call has got yeah, a exactly. ring that could have happened too. That, just Jeff like the Green got a James perfect Jeff example. Green. Yeah, come on, bro. Shout out Jeff Green. All right, fellas, this is a good time to transition and mention that this show is brought to you by the good people over at Underdog Fantasy. If you don't, don't know Underdog Fantasy, why? I'm gonna tell you who they are. It's literally the best app that you possibly can download if you want to get in on some NBA action and win some money from some NBA action. All you got to do is pick your favorite players, and then basically they'll have a stat line for them, and you can either go higher or you can go lower. Um, chat always advises you to go higher, so maybe that might be what you want to do. Uh, but you can win up to 20 times your money on any given night. Uh, you just got to choose two different players, and then you go from there. Uh, watch some of the old shows. We, 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 did, we, we did a lot of good stuff over the finals, a lot of good stuff. But I encourage you to download it and make sure you use the promo code the panel. We would appreciate it if you did that. You guys go do it now if you haven't done it. Uh, we'll be doing some more giveaways next week, and you know we'll get into all of that good stuff. But in order to be eligible for those giveaways, you gotta go ahead and download the app and use the promo code. Now, fellas, let's go ahead and get into it. You see the hey, title Ron, of the show? Thing, what's, up, what's, up? what's up? Chill what's up? Chill channel. You see the yeah. people in the comment section saying that stuff they saying? I'm gonna ask you. No, I don't. Leave it at I this. didn't see anything. Chill channel. You the section. king of your house, right? Yes. You're the king of your house, right? <laughs> oh my god. Right? Yes. So if I go in your house right now and I violate, are you gonna get up and leave? Your house? Were you the king? No, I'm not gonna do that. Bird man put these brothers in the trash can. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> however, I, I, however, it's the difference you're the between if you're, you're, you're the king, it's your palace. It's a, it's Why I'm gonna leave. If it's somebody else gets violated, no. He, it, first and foremost, those two things are not the same thing. Number one is the difference if, if you come in my house, as opposed to if you come in my house with six other dudes. Are you still talking about LeBron? Oh, yeah. so then you go run. Talk about then you go run. Uh, no, I'm, 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 uh, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some reinforcement. 
That's what I'm going to do. Bro, 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 coming to my crib. Yeah, he he coming to my crib is sick. Def, definitely is. Definitely is fun. Hey, but Ron, Ron. What's that? How like Coming to my crib with sick dudes. Ticket just asked children that question. Now, Ron, I need to ask you a question, Ron. Are you gonna get on your Don King, or what? Are you gonna get this? Are you gonna Are you gonna get this man to sign the contract? Sign the contract ticket. Kind Low of down thing? in the house. Mm -hmm. Sign, what hey, up? Sign, the sign the contract. Oh, ticket. Yes. You said you you said you said you, you said real quick ticket real quick real quick. As soon as, quick, as, quick, money, I'm, I'm, as, soon as I see the money, I don't have no problem beating your ass. Sign the contract. Hold on. Uh, you, 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 said, you said you said you said you wanted PC again. boxing oh, with Mars. I, I Mars ain't even in your weight class, bro. PC boxing signed the Mars. contract. I said ticket. it from the beginning. I said it again. As soon as I see the money, I don't have no problem whooping your ass. Shots <laughs> fired! Shots fired! Sign the contract. Ticket. I don't have listen. listen, 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 listen. Yo, yo, Ron, Ron, get on your Don King. Hey, look, hold on. Ron, get the anybody who got any any sponsor <coughs> that want to put the bag up for the celebrity match, y'all hit up Ron at on Ron's inst on Twitter or Instagram wherever he you can hit him at, and send the bread. Send, and I'm talking about y'all got to send a bag because the way I'm gonna do this boy is gonna be face down ass up. PC, PC, hey, PC boxing. Y'all send the bread through Ron. Get your man to sign the contract. Get him. Hey, get in your contract. Y'all got to send that bread, and y'all got to send extra. Face down ass right, up. My man. last name is hey, King, yo. and my first name is Don. You feel me? All right, uh, I'm gonna do that nigga Deontay Wilder style, nigga. Whoa, so I'm Tyson Fury. Sign the contract. Nah, you ain't Fury, nigga. Sign the contract. You know who you is? Sign the contract. You know who you is? You remain stubborn, nigga. I don't know who that is, bro. You look like him. Well, shit. I'll knock him out too. Sign the contract. <laughs> All right, so come on, let's keep it pushing. Yo, low, low down, down in the house. What up, low down. This has been one of the worst episodes just watching. The things what? that y'all are saying is just lies. What? Well, you what don't, you don't agree, you don't agree what, 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 with Iguodala's MVP. You don't agree with it. Iguodala should not have won it. Chill is trying to convince people that that wasn't a super team. I, I don't know how we got to that point. I'm not trying to convince anybody that that wasn't yeah, a super you, team. You wanted to know to, what a super team is. That's it. I'm just trying to understand what exactly a super no, team is. Mars explained explain it to me. So now I'm, now I'm quote unquote, so, fluent so think, over the team. So do you think Miami was a super team? Of course it was. With like, that you definition mean? that I had, do you, do you think Miami? Was I might have, I might have missed it, but it was a super. What is hey, it? Hey, what is it? I, 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 I said three all NBA caliber players or two top five caliber players plus an all star caliber player. Oh well, I said to, you stole my definition of the guy. Yeah. I know. Oh, you think oh, LeBron oh, could have oh, been? Oh, oh, we ain't gonna do about Steve. We ain't gonna do about Steve. Did the same thing that Dirk did with that team in Dallas when Dirk won a championship? You think LeBron and Dirk? You think LeBron could do the same thing? The the team isn't built for LeBron. No, I ain't say that. I ain't ask you that. No, I'm just asking. No, I'm not trying to trick you. I'm just asking you for just a reason. Say no, then. No, no. Okay, that's all I want to know. Um, this is just complete lies. Iguodala, Iguodala winning Finals MVP is the most fraudulent MVP I've seen in years. Ever, Pro possibly ever, possibly ever. You ain't seen But if Iguodala doesn't step up and play how he plays, it's worse than that. Like five or six games. Uh, no, the reason why they won is because their offense got significantly better, and that was because of Steph it Curry. It wasn't the fact that Cleveland scored 82 points in that game, 92 the next game, <laughs> and then under 100 the, the last game. There wasn't they, weren't, they weren't scoring. They weren't scoring the that game. many points in the first three games. No, I'm about, they was getting blown out. I'm saying it was 102 to 90 something. It wasn't. It wasn't that after them first few games, low that LeBron James started shooting 35, 44, and. 33% from the field, right? It wasn't that, right? 40, 40, 44% from the field is the highest he shot in the entire series. So let's try that again. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm asking you. 40, 44, those, game four. Games. Game four is his best scoring performance in an I'm entire they series. The they would, hold on. He was in the 30s. The percentage is two of those three, think, two of those three games game that he started. Game, yeah, game, game five is a is the best scoring performance he had in that entire series. No, you're not hearing me. I said he was in the 30 percentage. Okay, he was in a 30 percentage, in, and I believe in game like two or three. Well, pull it up. Don't say I believe. Pull it up. Well, in game, in game, in game, in game, in game two, he shot 31% from the field, as I thought. Right? Hold on. And what did he shoot in game one? Hold on. Wait. I want, I want to make sure we got this right on both sides. Game three, he shot 41%. Was, just go through every game. Like, yeah, just, go through game just one. Through every game. Game. We're just going to go through game, this and in game And in game one, 47%. All right. Game two was 30, 30 what? 31, and they still won. What was game three? 41, and they still won. 
okay. So it wasn't so like Iguodala oh, showed up and oh, just oh. shut the door. On yeah, he, he was already he was oh, already oh, dropping. Now, 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 low. Now let's go. They was up two one after that game, right? Yeah, but that's not because okay, of on, him on, though. On, yes, on. yes, they were. Hold yes, because now we got to look at the other side. Didn't Iggy wasn't Iggy tied in two of those last three games for the leading score in those games with twenty two and twenty five points? Four and six. Oh, okay, I guess. Okay, so three to two out of three games they won at the end. They were tied, and Iggy held LeBron James under thirty percent, uh, under forty percent from the field. Well, that's that's the that's the problem is that you think that he did that, but he actually didn't do that. I watched it. The the defend uh, that's fine. I've watched it several times in, in the last like year and a half. They they start oh, oh, doubling they start you... doubling him way more in the second. Please part of this please clean it up, Low. Please they start, they thank start you. Doubling him way more. That was actually because what this dude is trying team. to sell me, Low, is he's trying to sell me it was Jordan versus Joe Dumas. No, it was not. And that's what he was basically telling me that it was oh, he was a pri- he was their primary defender and it was one on one the entire time and it wasn't. It was not, it was not going on. They right, started. A, they it? started. They started a double significantly more in the second half of that series, right, and then right. and then they made the adjustments in Game Four to put LeBron in more advantageous situations so he can score Iguodala quicker. And when he did that, he torched Iguodala in Game Five. Then in Game Six, Iguodala so actually it, 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 forty-seven per, in Game Five. He shot forty-seven per, or forty. What is he? Forty-four. Forty-four percent from the field and thirty-seven percent from horrible when a guy shoots. Yeah, that's that's the most. That's the that's the most efficient that he was in that entire series. That means he was trash that so, series, right? Okay, because they start doubling him in the oh, second half of the Iggy series. Was hard, Iggy was his assignment most of that series, right or wrong? No, it's that's still not true. No, that's still right. not true. That's not they cool. start. He started. He started. He started doubling. They start doubling him way more often in the second half of that series, and then they made the adjustment in Game Five. In that adjustment, he he torched Iguodala when he was one on one in Iguodala, and then in Game Six, ironically, Iguodala got in foul trouble, and they had to flip him in, in, in between Draymond and Iggy on him, and Draymond was just as impactful as Iguodala was. Hey, well, low. Guess what? I got some good stats for you right here. The uh, actual. Thing that you guys call a lot is Iggy in that in that series, uh, not stopping LeBron James. Well, according uh, to uh, and you can look at the uh, reports right here, uh, Andre Iguodala actually did lock on LeBron James. As LeBron James only shot thirty nine point eight percent from the field that series while being guarded by Andre Iguodala. He turned over the ball by, while being guarded by Andre Iguodala directly nearly four times per game. While being why Iggy was his main defender, not, and also, um, you know, like I said, though that that's what he did. The so, stats are false. Those stats are no, 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 I don't. Yeah, no, no, they are. They no, are. I, I, are. No, I believe. We've already. We've already. I, 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 I don't care. We've already. We've already. We've already done this already. You don't care, right? Okay. The, re, the, the reason why I don't care is because no, I mean, those defensive. Yeah, I don't care. Those, those defensive tracking stats do not take into accountability when he was getting doubled. If I'm defending you, and then Chill comes and doubles, I'm still getting credited for you loot you missing it because I was initial defender. What superstar ain't been doubled in any series? Not to that extent. Not to that extent, because there was uh, nobody else on the floor that could create their own shot. Not to that extent. Not to that extent. Nigga, Curry got doubled to that extent. Because there was nobody else on the floor who could create in 2019. No, I'm saying, hold on. I can go through all these NBA finals and show you the key players that got doubled. Nobody was getting, outside of Curry in 2019, there was never anybody else that was getting doubled to that extent. Kobe wasn't Nobody getting else. doubled in the NBA finals. Not to that extent. A damn lie, man. I don't care what you. I don't care. I, I don't care all that shaking your head you do either, nigga. You didn't watch it, so I don't care. Nigga, I did watch numbers. it, nigga. No, nigga, I live anything. this game, nigga. You, no, you, you, you think about it, nigga. No, I watch it. I watch it. Oh, you think about it, All right, it, fellas, check it out. It. Check it you out. Check it, it out. I, I, I went. I, I actually made a video on this. I'm coming in my world. world. Yeah, Every, I, I, there's I there's several videos. I'm living my several world. Video, there's several videos about it. about it. Several evidence about it. Hey, yeah, he is putting right articles now. have lied about it several times. Se- oh, lying. How you gonna lie and make up stuff? How? Because I, I, because they, they'll credit Delva Dover for t- forcing Curry to turn the ball over. When well, you can go back and look at the turnovers from Curry, and Delhi is not even on the floor when he's turning the ball over. Right. They lie about it. Right. Damn, if he's not even on the floor, that's crazy. They, they, yeah, exactly. They've lied about it. It's been caught lying several times. It's a bunch of narratives and myths. But if you watch the game, you would know. So Iggy had Iggy, in your opinion, 
He had no real impact on slowing LeBron James down. What did I say that? 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 Chat, chat, did I ever say that? What did I say that? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you, did Iggy not have the main impact on slowing LeBron James down that series? I actually I still don't believe that. No. I think I think I think the double I think doubling him played way more of a factor than than Iguodala defending him. Doubling him did. I think Draymond did a better job. Draymond did do a better job. All right, uh, it's a poll up and low and Mars. The chat agrees that you guys are both stat sheet merchants. I don't agree I with didn't it. Even bring up a stat. I, I personally, right, I don't right. agree with it, but that's what they say. So w, 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 w. also, that's also right. the reason, also the reason why they were losing was because of um, the Warriors' offense was egregiously bad. That's why they were losing the games. It wasn't because of LeBron's offense. It was because the Warriors' offense was egregiously bad. That's why. You mean Cleveland's offense? No, the Warriors. Both, the first both, three, both, both teams' offense. Was well, bad. offense was bad. Yeah, the first three games. The reason why the Warriors went down two one is because right. the Warriors' okay. offense was bad. Right. That's the yes, only right. reason why they won. Shout, shout, right. shout out to Harrison Barnes. Shout out to Harrison Barnes and Clay Thompson. and and Clay Thompson. Yeah, yeah. they were just bad. Just I don't know great. how many. Te- I don't know how many teams win when their star player shoots thirty one percent and they still win. Um, Allen right, Iverson. Allen Iverson in two thousand. Ah, uh, Allen Iverson. Yeah, we do got to keep it pushing. Yeah, got to keep it pushing. Uh, you guys see the title of the show, ranking the NBA player performances in the finals. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run this up right now. I want to rank the top 10 players. It is six of you guys up here, so we're going to go ahead and just do the top 12. Uh, chat, I need an order. The best players just in the finals? Yes. Okay. Not unless you guys want to do the full playoffs. We can Hey, we, we can open the floodgates. Well, I mean, they'll keep the number one. We can't hear you, Bob. We can't hear you, Bob. Yeah. Last time we did that, it got kind of nasty. Bro. It did. Got, the whole- it, 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 <laughs> it did. It did. And, and you know what's so crazy? Really? People's people send me clips of that, and it is pretty nasty. It's pretty. Yeah. Nasty. It's, it's remember, pretty we, remember, we didn't have any, we didn't have any Sixers in there. No, no like, Sixers. Well, like 20, 24, bro. <laughs> the league MVP was like twenty six. Julius Randle was on the list. Yes, he was. Uh, I don't know. Chat. I need an order. All right, here we go. Here we go. Dame Dollar. Hashtag Mr. Clutch fourth quarter said low, chill, Bob, ticket, fluent, Mars. This is the best in the finals. Yeah, yeah. And we're we going to do 12 so everybody can go twice. Hey, mm-hmm. uh, while low is lying, Damn. in game one, Iggy shot 75% from the field and 66 from the three, y'all. Who said that Iguodala shot poorly? No, you. Uh, no, I'm just proving to you that somebody played well and it was Iggy, the dude who won the finals MVP. That's not what we said if he shot poorly or not. We said we said that Klay Thompson and Harrison Barnes shot poorly. Right, hold on. But that's why we saying Iggy won the finals MVP. Nick. We understand why he won it. We, we Everyone understands why he won it. It's just not the as re- a terrible reason. Uh, you just don't agree. Correct. It's okay. Go ahead. Let's, 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 let's do the terrible right. reasoning. Let's yeah, do the when right. The re- when the reasons are nice, yeah. But can, It's because right. Lowe says so, right? Look, this is what the facts say. It's a facts. <laughs> Who the best player was in the finals? Um, yes, on you don't first. be biased. Don't be biased. Okay, well, I was, I was on, about to. I was, I was about to be biased and say Jimmy Butler, but I'll leave that for ticket. It's, 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 it's Jokic. It's Jokic. Yeah. Right. Of course. Wait, is it just the finals? Not the just, entire playoffs? Just, just I will actually do one. That I do. I, you was I gonna say to... Jokic regardless. Don't do that. Are we doing? No, no. But I will. I will. I want to see what the rest. Just of doing the finals. That's what we're doing. Just doing the finals. Yep, just the finals. Yeah, Damn, Duncan, Duncan Robinson. Let's be talking. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Who's second? Um, is, is, second is on you, chill. Oh my bad. I want to say Jamal Murray, but I mean Don't Bam was fantastic, y'all. I do. Bam Better was fantastic. That, 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 that twenty-three and twelve. Better than Murray, bro. Murray, let him do it. it. Let him do it. it. Please. Let him say it. it. If, if asking, let, 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 he doing please. it. He gonna say it. Please. If you don't mind, Jeez, I mean, Bam, 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 Bam was fantastic with that twenty-three oh, and twelve. You know he's doing, uh, that, he's doing that because he's trying to defeat me. Let him, let him no, say I'm, the no, name. No. Bro, you're sad, bro. Let Again, him say it. Twenty, Jeez. Bam, Bam was twenty-three and twelve, so he was he he might have been playing the best on the Miami Heat, but the second best player in the NBA Finals was Jamal Murray. Mm. All right, there you go. Right, See, hey, I know you won't finna do that. I was about to start pushing some Bam over a pen, a penny order order around here. Well, Bam is over Penny. I mean, so I'm just gonna yeah, I mean. Uh, Two finals appearances. Facts. All right, Bob, it's on you. Who played the third best in the finals? Well, <clears throat> I would say Bam, but I don't praise losing. There we go. There we go. 
Bobby ain't feeling the losing culture. Even if, even, 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 no, even, no, even, no, even, no. Even if, even if you play good, you lost. Nah, it don't make bro. a difference. This don't make a difference. This, this, this Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, we, we sir. Better, we, know, we better not praise you, We better not. Not around here, we not. Take it. Oh, that's now, easy. Um, God damn. No, that's easy. Um, it, it has to be Bam. And losing's been praised. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I mean, after you get to the top three, I think it's okay to put. Bam. I mean, I mean, there's a certain guy on the Denver Nuggets who should have made it, but it's fine. Fluent, it is now on you. Hmm. Who you got, Tom? Can't hear you, you. Uh, muted. Can't hear you, Tone. Huh? Hold on. Oh, he's I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if Tone is gonna really bring us Get home. Nasty. Here, man. Get yeah, nasty. Yeah, I really <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's see. I was I what I was saying was I was muted apparently. You can hear me now though, right? Yeah, I was saying yeah, I thought yeah. Mike Gordon, I thought Aaron Gordon was gonna fall to me, just to be honest. I thought you guys would have picked Jokic. Murray, Bam, Jimmy, um, and I would have been like Aaron Jimmy. Gordon. It would have been. Yeah, he ain't making this. <laughs> yeah, he ain't making Jimmy, this. Jimmy might not even make the list. I got bad news for you, Mars. The Houston okay. Rockets are right now, as we speak, trying to trade for Zion Williamson. <laughs> mm -hmm. I seen that earlier. I saw that earlier as well. It's tough. Oh, so everyone just saw that earlier and didn't want to tell the Rockets. Uh, you'll, 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 I would hate to break your arm. <laughs> <laughs> boy, he going to get buzzed. Hey, I was about he to say that. Hey, better keep that boy. Oh, 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 wait, 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 stop. Oh, boy, wait, Sham, Sham, Sham said that, uh, they're trying to um trade Bradley Beal, too. Yeah, hey, look, he's going to get double buzzed. Houston though. trying to get Bradley no, 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 no. Wiz Wizards are trying to hit the restart oh. button and trade Bradley Bill finally. That means yeah. my crypt starts for Zingas to Golden State might actually happen. And this is and this is which I love is, by the way, Mars. I heard I heard Beal to New York for Randall. Hey, Flo, oh man. yes, yes. If, hey, you're, Flo, if you're in New York, do that one hundred percent. Yes. And this and this you, you froze ticket. Is it is it safe to put Zion with email? No. <laughs> <laughs> no ticket. Oh my god, no. Hey, that's oh, what he, that's, that's that's what he may put you for it. He like, hey, I'm hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's gonna be buns or us down there. Because if they get James Harden, <laughs> him, Zion, and Emay. <laughs> oh my god. We ain't winning no games. I'll more, they'll have more I, I, I tell you one thing though. I'll tell you one thing as a fact, ticket. We ain't winning no games, but if you're looking for us, we ain't hard to find. <laughs> we in the strip club. <laughs> we are not hard to find. <laughs> If you're looking for us, you're not on the farm, brother. Nuh -uh. That part you ain't got to worry about. Oh, man. Yo, Fluent, it is on you as of uh, right now. You know what? I'm I'm going to go with my X Factor. He's got to be there. He's I think he's the, one of the main reasons other than the two obvious ones. I'm going to go with Bruce Brown. Mm -hmm. Bruce Brown mm -hmm. Also, to, just to the chat, um, no – like Sham, Sham and Woj are dropping this information, so it is very, this is very legit info. Uh, no, that, that that just capping. That's fine. That capping. No, no, we're we're just capping. They don't believe it until they see it. That's on the only reason why I'm on Twitter. Hey, I, don't, I ain't on Twitter for no other reason except Woj. If Woj hey, don't say it, I don't believe it. Hey, chill. Yeah. Picture E may telling 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 Zion to stay away from the ladies. <sighs> Like a do as I do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mars, it is on you. Now, Come Mars, now, out. Mars, Mars, you better do this right now. Don't be Come scared on. of him, Mars. What's on your mind, brother? You better say the right name. Um, Christian Brown. There Eat it, Low. No, that's the right name right there, Christian Brown. That is the right one. There we go. And wow. I need to see some more Denver Nuggets get brought up as well because we praise winning. Well, the, listen, there's only seven guys that played. So. Hey, I saw DeAndre Jordan get minutes. He best make this list. Easy. Easy, he blocked, he blocked the shot. He blocked the shot. Easy, Mars. I did it's see him. Really Let's take it easy. Ray, Ray, Reggie Jackson took a end of quarter shot. <clears throat> you should make this list. <laughs> let me know. Let me know when you're ready, Ron. No, Kyle Lowry. Hey, not till, we, not, till we get, not till we get through the winners. Chat, we're halfway through the 12 that we're going to choose, and we got Jokic first, Jamal Murray second, 
Aaron Gordon third, Bam fourth, Bruce Brown five, and Christian Brown six. I want to. I want to. I'm about to say, are we, are we doing coaches too? No, we might as well put Mike Malone. Oh, player, players. Yeah, player. if it didn't say players, I was going to pick Mike Malone, but I couldn't. All uh, right. Look, Ron, um, the, pro- the problem is why I can't put MPJ and KCP is because they literally gave a win to the Miami Heat. They were literally playing for the Miami Heat that game. So I can't say those two. But you can say a certain someone. He going gonna to go with, uh, he gonna have to go with Jeff Green. Exactly. No, I'm going to go with Kyle Lauren. Oh, my God. Oh, no, I'm going to go with Kyle Lauren. Yeah. I'm going to go with Kyle Lauren. Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry hit some play. tough shots down the stretch. He was mega clutch. He did. When nobody else was showing up, Kyle Lowry came through and he played big time. I, I got to give it to Kyle Lowry. I disagree, Low. It's one that was better. Well, you say him when you get there. It's, yeah, all right. Here we go, man. I think Chill Town of Floor might take it from me. So oh, 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 Duncan Robinson? No. Yeah, yeah. He did play bigger than. Nah, somebody has to play better. Who's it? Who's it on, bro? Uncle it's on chill. Buckets. Who? Who? Buckets. Who's that? No way. No way. Oh, yeah. I didn't see the buckets. Y'all got Cal like Lowry over Jimmy. Man, y'all sad, bro. Jimmy said. Jimmy, I'm about to say Jimmy, the one who did it. Jimmy did it to himself. That's that's still that's still disrespectful. Jimmy, you ain't seen that turnover ticket. You seen that turnover? Kyle Lowry disrespectful what he did. Kyle Lowry turned it over before that. Kyle Lowry. It was this. It was disrespectful what he did. It was disrespectful what Jimmy Butler did in that series. It's disrespectful for a top five player to do that. Jimmy, that should they should have just let the Celtics win if they was gonna come if he was gonna come play like this. That's what I'm saying. Jimmy well, Butler and Jeff Green is Jalen Brown to look the same way in the playoffs. <laughs> Man, Jimmy, yo, Jimmy Butler had 13 points in the closeout game. My God, Jesus Christ, Jimmy. Yeah, 21. I'm saying when, oh, 21, when Jimmy, 21, 21, 21. Oh, no, you're, 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 you're talking about the other closeout game in the finals he had in 2020, where he had like 13. yeah, my yeah, 12. He oh, 12, he, he's, he's just agreed just in closeout games in the finals. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, in, in game in game four against the Lakers, at least Brown went for 40. You know what I'm saying? Brown, at least Brown didn't go out like Jimmy. Yeah, mm. Jimmy went out. Jimmy went out pretty sad. Yeah, Jimmy just be in these elimination games in the finals and just forgets how to play basketball. Crazy. It is somebody um, that was better than Kevin. That, that was better than uh, Ke- Kyle Lowry. Kevin Love. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Who's next? Be- better, better. It's on you, Bob. Oh, it's on me. I'm gonna go with K. Uh, I want to go with K. Love. I believe. Um, let me see. Mm. Let me see if Jamal, AG. Yeah. Although MPJ was shooting terribly. He, he started getting on the offensive glass, but the boy, he just refuses to pass the ball. <laughs> this is crazy, crazy, too. Yo, yeah, y'all seen the nuts. play? I, I I know he ended up getting to the foul line, but Jokic was no, exactly wide open under the hoop. Wide open. Bro, that's a simple, just a, just a little nah, tap. Right get, get the rebound. Get the rebound if you're wide open. <laughs> Yo, I'm going, uh, give me K-Love. Uh, when it, yeah, go ahead, K-Love. Hmm. Some of the most Ron, impactful was, minutes. Bro, I had I had like secondhand embarrassment for him on that play. I was that was terrible. And it was like I know he got fouled, but you could just see he had no intentions of passing the ball. None at all. He tra- he traveled once because he didn't want to pass the ball. <laughs> at the top of the key. I was like, bro, just swing it. <laughs> Yo, ticket, it's on you. <laughs> who who you went with? He went with K Love. There you go, right right here. I'm gonna go with Jeff Green, man. He should have went with Jeff Green. I'm gonna go with Jeff Green. Beautiful. Jeff Jeff Green shot like like 70% and like what 50 from the three for the series. Bob, what's up with this Jeff Green love? Y'all, I didn't really hear you talk about Jeff Green that much during the year. Like, what's what's going on with Jeff Green? He loves he loves every old role player. He loves every old role player. Al Horford, Jeff Green, he loves all of them. Omar, wait, there's more. I promise you, there's more. I'm not going to. So, so it doesn't just stop with Jeff Green oh and Al Horford. It's Adonis Haslam, dudes like are, that too. These are these are these are forgotten great dirty work are, guys. These are forgotten great. legends, though. Mm. Like Jeff, oh, y'all, y'all got to remember what Jeff Green was even before the heart surgery. Like when him, when him and uh, KD came out together, when him and um, he was a top five pick. 
Yeah, I'm saying when he came into Georgetown and he went toe to toe with with Melo, him mm-hmm. and KD, like when you you got to remember when Jeff Green was really him, you know. Yeah, he was. And I mean, I, I I personally think that that open heart surgery really just derailed his whole career. Which, I mean, you can imagine the open heart surgery. I mean, still, he still, he still was 16 years. I mean, yeah, and but I'm saying though, like those. I just think the years after would have been better. I'm not saying he would have been anything like LeBron or KD or something, but he would have been. You one think of, he would have been of, better than what he was, though? A lot, a lot better. I think. I think Ooh, he would have been one of, one of the better, yeah. one of the better guys of, of our generation. Right. Know? All right, moving along. Uh, fluent. You, you got are next. Can you pull up the list again. Doodle Brown. Jimmy Butler's way too high. Way too high. Yo, say I'm I'm kind of torn because this is the second last pick. Y'all disrespecting KCP, bro. And and he's 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 one of my final two. Um but I really want to put a person in there who, if he was playing, this this series probably goes seven and it's a coin flip. Mm, oh damn. I like that. What Duncan? <laughs> what what Jimmy Butler? Is that you doing, Jim Butler? Tyler Hero, man, be on this list. <laughs> yeah, if yeah, if 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 Jimmy did play, it would go That's seven. Tyler Hero and yeah, Ron I, disconnected. Hey, hey, Duncan Robinson did go fifteen to thirty from the field. Somebody put that in the chat. Oh, uh, so low of the of the low yeah, of ahead. the of the of the twelve players that we we talking about. Do you think because you just said that Jimmy Butler is too high? You think he played the worst of of all the players in this in these finals? I don't know why you're taking me serious right now. I don't know. Okay. If I made this like you, I'm very, I'm that. very much like you, Lo. You've said it in the past. Like, chill. When you say something, I believe it. So when you talk to me, Lo, I'm, no, no. I'm listening. I'm chill. I'm chill. So, 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 I, so I got to start distinguishing when you trolling, because when you just that? like you, just like you said about me, chill. When you say something. I'm on the hook. I'm believing you. So you yeah, say but stuff low, you, like, you don't you don't you don't you don't troll though. So that's the reason why I don't. I, 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 I don't. Fluid was trolling right now. Fluid, fluid. The only dude that won Miami game was Duncan Robinson. He didn't put him on the list. That's, and that's that's my pick. Is Duncan Robinson? Oh, Duncan, I thought you Duncan said Robinson. he's a talent hero. So Dun- Duncan, no, I, I do. I was weighing through my options and doing oh, a little. Tone is. Uh, let's be clear about up. one thing, Mars. Just so you guys know, Tone is a troll. Yes, he is. He, no, he, he, no, 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 no. I'm pick, I'm picking up on that as well. I'm picking up on that. He's he's, look he's, look he's, not, he's smiling right. He's, now. he's not. He's not the extent. Of, he's not the extent of Mars, right? But Tone. Oh, my brother Tone. Yes, one hundred percent. Oh he, man. Is a yes, he the is. best part is, you know what the best part is though, Jay. Most most people, like ninety nine percent of them, because I do it with such a straight face most of the time. I don't know. See, I don't, don't know him. I know this dude. Hey y'all, how about <laughs> y'all Reggie? Got a, how about Reggie Jackson got away oh. from Kawhi and got a ring? That's crazy. How about Jordan got away from Chris Paul and got a ring? That's crazy. He's the first one to a live city. No, yeah, how, about, yeah. how, about, how about Michael Jordan go away from Scottie Pippen and win no playoff games? Here we go. Don't start it, Mars. <laughs> Mars, don't start it. Yo. Okay, Mars. No, it's, right. it's ticket. Was talking about putting you in a choke I'm right behind him. I'm the one yeah. grabbing Talk to him, him, Mars. Giving him, giving yeah, him I'm just, uh, Don't start it, Mars. talking about the Georgian winning okay. without okay. someone else. Bruce oh, Brown? Um, yeah, Bruce Brown go away from KD and won. Um, yeah. a, lot, a lot of agendas. Um, it, goes, it goes further. Um, somebody got away from LeBron and AD and won as well. Yeah. He, he, he won. He won with them. What in the world? Run, run, stick to his. Ron, you're messing it up. Ron, you stick to his. Oh, Thomas Bryant. I thought he was oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. I was like, God. Hey, Mark said, stick to hosting. Hey, man, shout out to Popeye Jones. Shout out to Popeye Jones, yo. Popeye Jones. Shout out to Popeye. Hey, two two players got away from KD and won a championship. I know what you I know what you see, Miles. I know what you see, Miles, on that on that on that Denver, on that Denver hey, Nuggets squad. You see, a, low, you, see a, you see a fat dude. You see a fat dude. You see a fat dude on that coaching staff and Popeye Jones. Popeye Jones was a solid pro for a lot of years. He, he, had, he, had a of years. he had a couple good years. He had a couple good years. I know you. Oh, he played for the Raptors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, know you see a fat dude I, over there. I, I, I only know about Dallas. Like. During yeah. the expansion years. I, 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 I yeah, he has some, he has Boy, some solid we, seasons. Are we done? Are we no. done, Ron? No, nah, Mars yeah, got a... Uh, oh, Mars, <laughs> troll, put the in our heart. Uh, troll your way to the last pick, because I do want to say something. Uh, uh, see, if this was my list, I would have 
It is your it's list because you're involved. You, you have it Jimmy it's not my list. Jimmy Butler needs to come down. We're diff. We're putting Mars at the top of this, bro. This is your list. He, yeah, he's ruined. He's ruining the the sanctity of the list. Um, go ahead, Mars. Move, move, the worst move, Jimmy player. Player. That's crazy. He's the well, worst he would. He player. well. I'm not saying he's the worst. I'm saying he's not top twelve. But um, that's the, well, I mean, what, what's the rotation though? Dem, Dem, he's the Dem, best player Dem, on the Dem, Miami Heat. Denver, Denver, Denver played eight. like eight guys. Um, Miami played and, like and, and you're saying that he eight. wasn't better than none of them dudes. Not one of them. Of the eight guys that Denver played, he wasn't better than none of them. And then the other players on his team, he wasn't even the best player on that team. So he wasn't they, better than they, Bam. They all provided more value relative to their expectation than Jimmy Butler. Mm, so therefore, he's not way. top 12. Yeah. So um, that is a nasty way. <laughs> you're just it is. Is, is. Is it not? Disgusting. Yeah, he's, he's chatting. He's chatting. He's chatting. Num number number twelve. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna praise losing. I'm gonna go with Contavious Caldwell Pitt. Good yeah, defensive it's series. It was, was a double. Agent. Was a double agent in game two. But uh, other than that, pretty great. A mole. One hundred. We just call him GCP because I can't pronounce. He was a mole in what you call it too. He was a mole in game five too. And, and then mold. and then he realized that he got his other credentials and, him, and bro, KCP he went over to the other side. Crazy, bro. KCP was headed down the path of nowhere before you played for. Nobody want to talk about that neither. Y'all forget that KCP bro, was on a Lakers with, 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 with an ankle monitor before Don't before that. that. The, the Detroit. Well, he, Detroit he, was in, he was in Detroit just being. Oh, he was wasting away. Yeah, he he him, him and him and Aaron Gordon. Aaron Gordon was in Orlando, and it was just it was just they wasting away. Aaron Gordon to be a self creator, like they were missing. Yeah. Ticket right, yeah. ticket is absolutely right. KCP was in Los hey, Angeles look, with, goes, a, with an ankle monitor. Goes, that's that's something I think that low we didn't mention low. And shout out to the Denver Nuggets organization. That's what I that's what I was just about to say. Literally, right about to say, what I'm about to say. Those pieces they put together, low. It was yes. like everything was fit like perfect. You know what I'm saying? Like every everybody complimented everybody. Yeah, and yeah. then um. Like I said, man, just just the camaraderie those guys had, the way they moved off of Yoke. They picked the right guys who could backdoor. I think Aaron Gordon was such a perfect pick for him with yes. his athleticism and ability to finish at the basket the way he did uh, and the way he does all season long. I think that's a perfect – I think it's a perfect combination. That's something that helped him. But Bruce Brown was so big going that to get him. That was major. The major. Element he bring, the element he brought, he brought a whole different element than what guys like Will Barton could bring. Or even Monte Morris, man. So I like that. And they kind of went away from the backup point guard with Monte Morris because they used to use him a lot coming in for Jamal Murray and stuff like that. They went away from that and went to a guy like a guy like Bruce Brown. And and, and y'all see KD online arguing with people about that? KD was literally online for the last three days, like going back and forth because people was cooking him for running him out of uh, Brooklyn for, uh, for uh, Royce O'Neal. So that was crazy, bro. But shout out to I Bruce Brown, man. And the other thing that I wanted to say was, um, <clears throat> and I, even though Mars and Dove has talked to me lower on 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 um, on Magic, the, but the reason why I've always had Magic so high is because when I watch Magic, when I play, watch the Lakers play, everybody around the Lakers, they just start doing things that I don't think that they would normally do if they didn't play for Magic. They just run harder. They make better cuts. They make better reads, and they start passing better as well. Like it's so odd. I, I don't think a lot of those players would do that. Those things, and that level of contagious offensive impacts, I think, is very, very underrated. And it's hard to like quantify without watching it. But I see what this Jokic is doing right now, and it's always very similar. Where I don't think a lot of these players have been in the league for years, and they've never looked this good. They've never looked this impactful. They've never looked this sound, even with their their cuts, their reads, even their passing. I'm seeing Aaron Gordon and MPJ make passes that I genuinely do not think they would be making or even looking to make because Jokic is on the floor. I think um, Larry Bird had a, a similar impact as well. With the what pass did you see MPJ like make? The dump off pass he had to um to Jokic when he drove, he dumped it off to him. I don't like he's not even a pass. I don't think he would ever make a pass like that. Aaron Gordon is like finding people cutting in the lane as well. Those are things in which he doesn't, he was not doing in Orlando. And I think when you have somebody who's passing the ball the way that Jokic does, the way that um, um, Magic did, the way that Larry Bird did, it makes everybody else also be aware of like what's going on around them. So even they start making extra passes. And now, now we're making passes and making reads that none of us was doing before. And we've been in the league for years. KCB been in the league for years. Bruce Brown, Aaron Gordon. Jeff Green, all these players have been in the league for years, and they were never making these type of passes, never making these type of reads. They're much more self-aware. They're making more um, better cuts. Those are things that are, like, very, very hard to quantify. Say it again. What would you call that? 
what making your team is better. Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, I think that, yeah. But I think I think that no, I'm just curious. I, like, I guess I guess the name to it, would you call yeah, yeah, it like yeah. leadership? Like is is it those things that don't count? It's an intangible. That's what it oh, is. Oh, it's an intangible. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I guess. That doesn't exist, exactly. That doesn't exist. It's just yeah, Who said it don't things, exist? things you can't Who find on basketball reference. No, lo, 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 well, kind of. Kind of to your point, Lola. Kind of kind of to your point, Lo, about twenty about what they did in terms of KCP passing. It was really similar in like in twenty fourteen when you saw like what Boris Diaw was doing. Right. Yeah. As opposed to when he wasn't there, how the offense was moving, how much better in unison everybody was because you had one guy or just all guys. It, it, it was basically they were all on the same page. And once they yeah. were all on the same page, it was pretty impossible. It was going to be impossible to deal with them dudes. It just was. Yeah. And I I say that because I don't I think that's gets gets lost. But that level of like making your teammates better and like improving everybody around you, I think gets kind of lost. And especially in the past like decade where everybody's bouncing around from team to team and the chemistry and continuity outside of like maybe the Warriors and the Spurs, I, you don't really see that that often. So it was, it was very refreshing to watch. Well, you got to remember, too, that we live in a time where we're, we live in a very YouTube instant society where players are just one on one. You cook this guy, you cook that guy, as opposed to actually watching units that are in unison where everybody is working together and how much better basketball is when that's going on. That's why I say the 2014 Spurs, that was the most beautiful basketball that I've ever seen. I don't yeah. think there's not many teams that I think could have beaten that team the way that they were playing, how they were all on the same page, and how they were playing. Man, I don't know the way that they were playing. The, the way the, the way that they were playing, I'm saying I'm not saying that Kobe and Shaq wouldn't have beaten them, but Shaq there aren't many. That team they're saying it was beautiful basketball ticket. He's just saying that's it. It's just it's beautiful. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not. just not singing that phrase. Just, just like just like that. Just like that. No, that's not true. No, that's not true. Because the 2001 Lakers, Kobe and Shaq. I don't know how many teams would have beaten them neither. Because no, they were all watch, on the same page. You can watch. You can watch tons of teams for today, from yesterday, from whenever. Yeah. Even teams that are bad. Occasionally, you see games where they're just really sharing the basketball. You see it a lot from the Warriors, obviously, because that's part of their style. But you see other right. teams when they're really sharing the basketball and they play they play amazing we're like wow they just beat this team by 40 how they do it and you watch them like what is someone saying oh the katie warriors couldn't beat them did the early bulls couldn't beat them uh yeah we're not we're not we're not talking about who would win. What we're saying is the style of basketball to, is to be appreciated because even bad teams sometimes, when you see them sharing the ball, it's beautiful to watch and they'll win games. The problem is not a lot of teams and players have the mental capacity to do that night in and night out. So that's let's all, that's hold, all, hold on for a second, Tone. Let, let, let's yeah. go. Let's and, go down. And, and they don't and they don't stay along long enough to do that. No, they don't. There's a lot of chemistry. You have to build a lot of chemistry to pull. I don't know if you remember this, but that Golden State Warrior team with KD and and. Curry and Steph Curry, just so you know, on opening night in 2016, the Spurs smoked them by 30. Not only did they yeah. smoke them by 30, I'm not done. Not only did they smoke them by 30, they're up 20 in the Western Conference Finals in game one in the third quarter. Kawhi Leonard goes out with a rolled ankle. If he doesn't go out with a rolled ankle, I'm not sure that they beat them. No, so that team, that's 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 first, that's that's Spurs that's team not, right there. That's take not on offense either. Right. Say, that's yeah. Yeah. So, and 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 I and that 2014 team was better than that 2016 17 no, Spurs. No, I'm saying, you're saying it wasn't many teams that that could beat them, and I disagree. Right. I do think it was a lot of teams that could have beat them throughout the NBA history. You're I naming think, like literally yeah. some of the greatest teams of all time. Yeah, that's that's the greatest teams in history. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But that was my yeah. whole point to chill. To chill right. Tone is that right. I don't even think I don't even think as great as they played. I don't even think. All right, Tom. Okay, but keep I mean, going, keep going, take it. You don't think yeah, keep, keep going. They're not in, they're not top five, but even yeah, if they're yeah, no, top, no, even if they're tenth, even even if they're tenth, that's still the 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 statement is still applicable. Also, shout out to Mike Malone as well, because again, that's also a part of coaching. A lot of yeah. these, a lot of these players that are on the team weren't there that long. Like Bruce Brown is a new addition. Jeff Green that's hasn't been there that long, and even some of the players who yeah, have been there a bit longer. Remember, it, um. J Jamal Murray and MPJ have not been playing with these players for basically a year, year to two years now at this point. So right. you, you give a lot of credit to coaching as well because he, he got those guys prepared, ready to go, and just executed right. down the stretch 
way better than a lot of other coaches were able to have them execute. Well, no. as well. Are we not gonna get on? Are we not gonna get on Espo? We haven't done that. Nobody we're just, that. We're just praising right now. We're just praising. Right, no, no, I'm saying, but nobody. I mean, no, no. Time up. You, we crapped all over Jimmy, but everybody gave Espo a free ride. Espo, we're, pra- we're, we're, we're praising. We're, we're praising right now. We're just praising. We're praising. But you wasn't praising Jimmy. For what? What am I praising for? Oh, right. No, no. I'm saying we was we was praising, but you went out your way to take a dump on Jimmy Butler. When? When? I would just. Oh, I'm talking about in the stretch in which I'm being serious. I'm praising. I'm oh, praising. okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Jesus. Well, you were you not trolling? Okay, I got you. That nigga Jimmy trash though. But Eastpo ah. ain't. <laughs> East Bo ain't though. Even though Eastpo got thoroughly outcoached by Mike Malone, he ain't. We ain't gonna talk about that. No, Eric Spoelstra is not trash. No. He's a champion, two time champion. You know, right with LeBron James and D Wade and Chris. Bach. Still two time champion. Yep, two time champion. <laughs> I right, love. But wasn't he? He was All a right. part of the organization when they got those other rings too, right? So I mean. Yeah. Okay. He got, he got All right, fellas, we, we we got super chats. We got super chats. Let's I'm gonna start it. from what the top. J J Bird said, "Do you want these great players to just be stuck in a poorly ran organization for the rest of their careers until the organization finally does something right?" Okay, let me answer that question. How I, I dare somebody to answer this question again? How are you poorly ran when you win in 66 games in 60 games? That's not poorly ran, bro. When you don't have the to, proper pieces. When you're going to the NBA Finals, when you're winning the most games and, and you're picked to win the championship, how is that a poorly ran organization? Because you don't that's have the counters. That's, that's not, hold on. That's not the Orlando Magic. That's not the Houston Rockets right now. That's hey. Not the, the, that's not the, my bad, Mars. That's not, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's not some of the worst teams in the league right now, bro. That's not even the Atlanta Hawks. This team won 66 games and 60 games. Y'all acting like they was winning like 40 games and struggling to win in. Winning 35 games, bro. Cut it you out. Still, you can still be poorly ran and have a great it's regular season. But you can't, it's impossible if because if you were getting better it's not every impossible. Year, hold on. They were making moves. It was different players on the roster from when before they was winning 50 uh 60 games to when they were winning 50. They changed the players and won more games. So I'm just saying when we say and LeBron more, got significantly better. Uh, that's where I was going. No, 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 ticket, no, no, no. ticket, you could ticket, you could have a group that has platinum hits and you got one really good lead singer, and the rest of them dudes are yeah. So Antoine Jameson was averaging 17. He was nothing. But yeah, he come over there averaging 17. He averaged 20 points per game every other year before. He's over to Antoine Jameson in, in hold year on, hold 12. On. Hold, on. And he, hold on. And here's the thing. After LeBron left, he went back up and averaged 18, 19 again. Yeah, because and he got he more went, looks. And, right. Come on. But with LeBron, he was still averaging 16, 17 points. He went to the that's Lakers, bad. too. Hold yeah, on. That's he, bad. He on, hold, on, hold, on. On. hold on. Hold on. No, it, it was good. He was averaging almost 18 points. He was doing that before he went over there with Milwaukee. He did it one season. No, he did. They did it two years in Milwaukee before he went over there. Stop capping, nigga. He did it one season. Ticket. He did it two. Uh, I'll go fact check, guys. Yeah, Speaking fact check me and, and go ahead and put low ass. I mean, uh, chill ass on the grill again. He did it two years. He he, went a- he averaged two seasons where he had seventeen. Thank points. you, man. Stop seventeen. Me, man. So, so it's not eighteen. It was seventeen. So you lying? Oh, well, to he, he never 17. had. 18. No, you said eighteen. <laughs> I said he almost. Had anyway, keep going. I'm sorry, he keep going. Averaged eighteen. He averaged 18. No, you didn't say almost. That's not what you said. I did no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Okay, you gonna get cooked just like old boy did trying to say a lot about something else. I'm not. <laughs> you said he averaged eighteen two <laughs> years. I was about to say one. Here's my point, Chill Town. I'm listening. You, you, uh, y'all keep saying poorly ran organizations. That's cap, bro. That's cap, my brother. Let's just say that they they didn't <clears throat> they didn't finish the job. But when we say poorly, that's cap, bro. A poorly ran organization is what is the Clippers. Uh, it the is, 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 is it, no the Clippers not, are the 90s. Now, not now, but before Clippers are the nineties. And yeah, in the nineties. I mean, the only the only good thing they did was draft LeBron. If they don't have LeBron, how many games do they win? Less than you know. Less than, hold on, tell mm. me, tell me. That wasn't. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm saying, if, if Bron's not on that team, they, they go from a sixty win team to a. No, I'm Kyrie talking Irving. about no, no, no. You can't talk about Kyrie Irving because that wasn't until he came. That was after he left. When right. He was still hold there. Hold on, hold on. No, when he was still there for the ticket. What else did they do? Who did they do? Who they doing now, then, nigga? 
What you talking about? What? Talking what? About what? Well, that'd, that'd, be, that'd be that'd be that'd be in run by just. I'm sort of they're fine. They're actually doing fine. They're not because they got different management. Yeah, they got they got different management. Let's stay focused, y'all. Stay focused. Are you right? You right? You right? You right? You right? How many games? How many games did they win without LeBron James? Four years after LeBron. How many games did they win without LeBron? How many games did they win without LeBron? Every everyone's being disingenuous now. This is just crazy. Hold on, let me okay. say this to you, Lo. You guys say this. Y'all say they built the team around LeBron. Okay, no question about it. So four years after he left, them in the Miami Heat, four years after they left, are right back on top. So how – ain't, y'all ain't saying talking about Miami because y'all didn't say Miami. But we, we talk about a team like Cleveland, bro. Bro, that shows you they're not a poorly ran organization. They win How many out, games would they have won? Hold on, 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 they had dudes that they had to pay big time money to because they wanted LeBron James, one of those players, J.R. Smith, Tristan Thompson got almost 100 mil. All these dudes had to play with role players. They had to pay those guys because of him. So now, after he leaves, LeBron, you have to get off those contracts and rebuild quick. They rebuilt in a great fashion in four years. They're right back in the playoffs. So you, 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 you're talking about the nuclear. I'm talking about the old. No, I'm, no, I'm saying the organization in general. All no, no, you're not hearing me, Ticket. You're not it hearing is me. different, man. I'm Ticket, talking Ticket, about we, old Cleveland. You're talking about new no, Cleveland. No, I'm saying they said, hold on. The owner still you're, talk, you're, 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 saying, you're talking about Cleveland after after they've been, the after they've been gentrified. Gilbert, I'm talking about old Cleveland. Dan Gilbert is still there. Hold on. Let, let, let's, let's, let's have a fact check right now. Dan Gilbert is Dan still, Gilbert there. still there. So when we go from 2000. In three, from when LeBron came there, they got rid of all those guys, Ricky Davis, all those dudes who were bad weight. They got rid of those guys. They started bringing in new guys. They kept Z, Big Z, because he was an all star the year before LeBron got drafted. Right. So they right. kept right. him. They rebuilt. They brought in guys like Mo Williams, who was averaging 17 and a half for two years over there uh, with uh, the Milwaukee Bucks. Then you start bringing in other players uh, as well. You start bringing in Antoine Jameson's of the world. You start bringing in other good role players as well to fill out the team. So it, what, hey, we not talking about stars, though. None Hold on, stars. I'm not talking about, but once again, Jokic just won a championship. They weren't putting superstars around him. I didn't they, say they, superstars. Yeah. I said stars. None Hold on, they, stars. they didn't put stars around. Hold on, they didn't put stars hey, around. Hey, Aaron, Aaron Gordon's an all-star. Aaron Gordon ain't no all-star team. In your, in your opinion. In your opinion, in, in your opinion, in your opinion, how am I opinion? You're mad, you're I said this year, you, you said this he year. should be an all star. You said he should. Be. I said this yeah. year with Jokic, dog. This year, yeah, I know. So he's, he's a, a he's an all star. He's a star. He's a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, hold on, but I'm saying the same thing about LeBron. Nobody was saying that about Mo Williams before he went over there. So what I'm saying is this: so that team, they identified the top the talent to put around him uh, to help. Suit his game. That's why they won sixty six games. All right, let me let me actually ask you just a quick just a quick question. How many teams in NBA, how many players in NBA history win championships without a at bare minimum a perennial All Star? No, I'm not saying that. Hold on, low. I'm just at, just answer the question. Just answer the question. Let's get this straight, low. I'm not saying that. I'm saying listen, listen to what I'm saying. They're saying poorly ran. The, 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 the chat says poorly ran organizations. Right. They were not a poorly ran organization. We can't okay. do this, bro. How many? How many? Ten, how many players do you know can win a championship Whoa, without a perennial All Star? No, no. I, I hear you. I hear you. Ticket, your, I, I ticket, hear you. Ticket, your, ticket, your stance is that they they, 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 they weren't they weren't they weren't ran. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's they your were, stance. But I, no. I think I think I don't think that they were ran well enough for him to stay though. So what? why? They when he wasn't ticket they, they, oh. ticket ticket because do you understand I, that's, that's yeah, like you talking I'm first asking. of all ticket you took first of all ticket you talking about bringing in guys like Mo Williams he didn't get Mo Williams until year six. The only constant that he had was Anderson Varejao and who's, Big Z. Who's, 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 Anderson Varejao made a all defensive team. It was a great. Hold on, that's not. That's it. Hold on, that's a lot. Everybody else, every that's not a lie. Those are the two guys that was on the crew the longest. With him, everybody else was rotated. I'm finna give you other very good role players. You don't even believe that. Hold on, you know it, wait. Come on, they lost Carlos Boozer. He was solid. They lost him. He was yep. solid. He went on to Utah to become an all star for a few years. He but he was wasn't solid. a perennial all star next to him. At this rookie. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go. Keep going. He was solid, right? They lost him. Okay, no problem, right? They also had Drew Gooden, who was a double double that time. He was a very good role player. These are facts. They brought in, listen, they identified. And brought in very good role players around. Those role players went to the NBA Finals with them. We're not gonna act like they didn't. We're not gonna act mm. like they ain't nothing. Because if we was to bring these guys up on the show and just say, "Hey, with y'all's contributions were nothing," we looking at dudes right now like no one crazy. is saying that. Oh, well, we're say- no on, one's saying that right? though. LeBron, LeBron still put that team on his big ass shoulders. Like and carried Jeff, them there. We looking at dudes like Jeff Green. 
Dog, Jeff Green that went to an NBA Finals with LeBron James too with the Cavs. No uh, one is saying that. Hold on, saying, hold on. What I'm saying, hold on, low. Listen to my point. My only point is this: they, the donation said that if they were poorly ran, why are we accusing players of staying with poorly ran organizations? I'm saying to you, they were not poorly ran. My only proof of that is is that all throughout that time, they were mm. never a poor team. They were a team that were always towards the top of the league. And then after LeBron left, you give them a grace period to re to reshuffle the deck. And in four years, they've made this a playoff team again. They went and got Spidey. They drafted um what's the guard's so this name? This is different. Guy? This is different management oh, now. No, no, this no, is no, different no, no, management. Same owner, same owner Dan Gilbert. The same owner, owner, owner Van Gilbert has been owner. out. He, he said routinely that he wanted less to do with what's going on. Oh man, these dudes is cap. Where y'all do? Come on, man. So wait, I'm low. Low. <laughs> just, can, low. Answer, we got to keep it pushing. Question. But can you just answer the question? Bro, hate me so much. You can't. No, no. Just answer the question. Just answer the question. Just answer the question. Answer. Just answer the question. How many players do you know is going to win a championship without a perennial all star? A few. Name them. Well, oh, hold on. When you say perennial all star, how many all star games you talking about? He he's making these are like players who are consistent. Oh, 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 perennial all star annually. That's annually. Like they're how making it. Hold on. How many all star games you think is perennial? Give me a scale because if you, you have to make it, you have to make it consistent like three to four times. Like okay. this is like a routine thing that you're scale, making. Right? Okay. Dirk did it, three to four yeah. scale, right? J Jason Kidd. How many? Hold on. How many? No, Jason Kidd was old, man. Come on, bro, cut it out. All right, also, go. Let's let's say also, Jason. Hold on. Also, also, how many All Star teams did, did Paul Gasol make before he played with Kobe? I think I think like two or three. Thank you. No, 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 no. Now I'm finna cook these niggas three hard. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone, someone in the chat, tell us how many Paul Gasol made. I am a. Yeah, wait, no, 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 no. We we gotta look. We gotta look. We gotta look. He, he, got, he got drafted in oh. Uh, he got drafted in oh one. I think he made one. How many all star teams did Chris one or two? He made one. He made, he made one. He made one. How many all star teams did Chris Milton make for Giannis won a chip? Zero. Zero. Hold on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm going to keep frying. Keep frying. No, three. Hold on. Three. How many? Hold on. How many all star teams? How many did Kennedy Jeff Smith make when Hakeem won that first chip? That's, that is the one. That is hold one on, that I was going to name. Four. That's four. That's four. 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 Hold on. Hold four. on. Keep going, nigga. This ain't, this ain't hard, nigga. Okay, go ahead. How many all star teams did Scotty win before Mike won their first chip? He became a how perennial all-star, all though. How did he, 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 he was an all-star. He was an all-star. He was an all-star. He might want to chip. Cut it out. He was a perennial all-star. He was a perennial all-star. I didn't say he did. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's easy to beat, Ron. Wait, 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 wait. He was a perennial all-star, though. He was the first year Mike won. No, not at that point. Now, think about it. Now, there's a difference between now. Hold on, 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 hold on. I didn't say he I didn't. I didn't say he had to be one before. I just said that's a little bit. But well, well, wait a minute, though. Ticket, and not only that, was a perennial All NBA caliber player. That is, and not only that, ticket, ticket. Oh, never mind. Here's the thing that you're trying to. Here's what you also trying to sell, ticket. You also trying to sell that he wasn't playing at an All Star level. Just so you know, the year Scotty Pippen made the All Star team in '89, I mean in 1990, when the All Star game was in Miami. You know he had a better season the year that they won the NBA championship when he didn't I make the All Star team. He actually had a better season the next year. Based off what he stole. That's my point. Listen, no, listen what he's saying. I'm saying this is my point to you, brother, and I ain't trying to disrespect I'm you. I'm, I'm listening. I'm saying that before before Scotty went over there to yeah. the Bulls, before he got drafted, Scotty Pippen was a bench player, and then he wasn't an All Star when they started winning chips. He he wasn't even an All Star the first year they won a chip, whether you think so or not. No, he wasn't. Cool. No, in '91 so, they didn't. I'm giving you. Hold on. I'm giving. He didn't you make you, the All Star team. Those are players, but you're naming players who were at were who were playing at a perennial All Star level, though. You're naming players who were playing at a perennial All Star level. Your your question was perennial All Stars, not perennial. No, all the dudes I gave you, low hadn't. No, I, well, I said I said level. I didn't say hold level. on. All the dudes uh, I gave you that won chips hadn't went to All Star multiple. wasn't perennial All Stars before they won the chip. That's what I'm saying. Well, hey, you just well. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You have to, you have to pick one because because Jason Kidd was a perennial All Star before. No, 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 no. He was old and washed up, so you can't use that. Whoa, washed, washed, up. washed up is not. True. He wasn't washed, washed up. up. Washed he was up. Four, six years old, right? He, no, he was, was not. I agree with Jake. Oh. Jake, what, Jake, what, what he was, bro, Jake, he was literally, he was literally, he was literally an all star. He was literally an all star the year before they won a championship. He was an all star. He was an all star the year before. He was an all star the year before. He was an all star. He was an all star the year before. He was an all star the year before. Hold on, I agree with that. Hold on, let me ask you a question. 
was Jay was 37. Kidd, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let was Jay Kidd anywhere near the level of his prime when he won a chip with dirt? Nobody said oh, he had to no, be their no, prime. No, okay, no. so hold on, so so hold on. So you using that is being nasty like you are. Now let's go to the next team. So <laughs> hold on, let's go to the next you, team. You 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 talking about Pau Gasol and Scottie Pippen is nasty. Yeah, come on, I ain't finished yet. I gave you a whole list of dudes. I asked you about you're, 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 you're saying you're saying your name. You're saying before they won you're saying Chris, Chris Middleton and I won, agree. Won, won. I agree with you, Chris Middleton. Hold on, I'm gonna keep going. Tell me, Andrew Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins, Andrew Wiggins. This ain't hard for me. Stop, I can keep going. Stop. How did he you hit, he hit, he hit Clay Thompson. He hit Clay Thompson in. Keep going. Take it. Who else you got? Take it. I'm listening. Let me keep going. Hold on. I can keep going. How many All Star teams did uh, Tony Parker make before he went to the Spurs and won a championship? That's another one. That's another one. That's a, that's a, those are you have three legit. You have three legit ones. Clay Thompson in 2015. You have you have three. You have three legit ones. Clay Thompson in 2015. That's four. You have three legit. That's four. You have three. Clay Thompson in 2015. What you got, Ron? You have three. You have three. I, hold on. Okay. We have super chats. That's what we have. What you got, Ron? I ain't finished yet. Hold on. How hold many on. all-star teams did Clay Thompson win? <laughs> you whooped him already. Ron, Ron, hold on. How many all-star teams did Clay Thompson win? Ticket. 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 You you Ron, 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 
No, no, no. They all were. No, I, I, Rashid yeah, Haitian Prince were. was the Rashid, only Rashid, one. They talked about before they won it. They talked about before they won it. Rashid won it. The question wasn't about before. He's 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 asking. He's answering a question that nobody. Low did never specify before. I never said before. I never. I never said before. I never said before. So he said, you he, said you're answering he, he, uh, he asked asked how many he asked how many teams have won without like the star player without player. having perennial all stars. A perennial all star no, would only apply to before. No, you can't get perennial all star after no, the fact. No, 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 how can you be a perennial all star no, after the fact no, and then say, no, oh well, no, they won in this year? Like, no, they do got a point. You should have that's the point. If you are if you are if you are perennial all star while they're winning, that's what I'm talking about. Why would I just you're only a perennial all star if you start adding up all star seasons from that year onwards? You're not a perennial all star like Tony Park in 03 is not a perennial all star, he became one, but he wasn't. He Clay Thompson in 2015. Come on, but he didn't, but wait, 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 come on. Tony Parker didn't even become a perennial all-star until later on, though. And Clay Thompson in 2015 didn't become a perennial all Oh, yeah, you're right. Star. Yeah, Clay, we, we can play Clay Thompson. Is, um, Curry is another. Like, there's men, there's, so there's like, four. So there's like, four. Like, these people aren't perennial all-stars until the team's winning, and then they are all-stars all these other years. Same but they weren't the But Murray. that's not the question I asked. The Same point is, these teams are winning without these players being perennial all stars, and then they become they became perennial, perennial all stars when they were the first win. year. Joe Dumas I never said I, I never said so they I won never... without perennial all stars. That's the point. No, they but won. if they they're became if they ball. became perennial all stars while they were what, winning, that's the what, point. What, what Can I read these perennial super chats? Were... Yes. Yo, chat. Yes. I'm trying to read the super no, chats. No. Hey, hey, no, I'll, don't yell host me at all. Before. I'm trying to read super chats. No why one said before. Trying to Please. Cross beat between no one numbers? said. No one said before. Be, be, be because the because star, because if, if you doesn't prove it. No, during the fact, not after. During. During. If Joe Do if Joe Dumas was a one time all star when they won. Jordan was one time we when they won. He was like a During. two and they had two championships. That's not perennial. During during the time that they're being competitive, they mm -hmm. become perennial all stars. Okay, and I'm going to say again, if Joe Dumas was like a one time all star the first time they won, right? And Joe Dumas, after they've won two championships, had two All Star appearances. That's not a perennial. Chat, I'm trying to read the super chats, but keep clicking. But they, but they, wait, but they, but they were still competitive even the next year when they didn't win. It's okay. not about if you, you, have, you don't have to win. You don't have to necessarily win. It's about being competitive. What you said was who won championships, and I was saying they just have to be competitive. That's moving the goalpost. No, no. The the question was in premise of trying to win a championship. How can you try to win a championship without Damn, being competitive? That, that wasn't the question. If your expectation is for them that to That wasn't win, the question you asked. You said who won without perennial all-stars. That's what you Okay. If the now they're saying who but, tried to win. Like, no, no, no. no you, you but you, but you would have to be competitive to try to be perennial, but try to try to win a championship. Okay, but your question was... I, I, we got Super Chats. Yeah, Super Chats. I, I'm, I'm being a hypocrite. No, no, no. Fuck them Super Chats. No, no. Super Chats. Right. The right. If the que if the question is if you're trying to win a championship, how are you expected to win a championship if you're not competitive? You're competitive. That you have to be competitive. That wasn't the question you asked. You asked who won a championship without perennial all stars, not who okay. competed for a championship, not who was trying to win championship. You said who won a championship. That was the that was the caveat you added. Who won? That's why okay. he brought up Dirk. That's why he brought up Hakeem. That's why he brought up Duncan. That's, That's right. why he brought up Isaiah. I love you, you, you can bring up a bunch of teams that tried and didn't do it. There's a bunch of teams that made the AI. <laughs> AI, AI <laughs> nearly did it. AI was competitive. Those teams cool. were competitive. That's AI competitive. was not competitive. He made the fan. How's that look competitive? Because it's the East. It's the East. How much more competitive can you be than making the finals? I never oh, said making. I said competitive. That's what I said. I didn't say making the finals. If you if you play the last game of the se of the season, you're the closest competitor there was. <laughs> oh no, that's not true either. And you don't believe yes, it. Is. No, yes, it is. No, what are you talking about, no it's not. Yes, it is. Who, who's, 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 who's more competitive to the Lakers, the Kings or the or the Island Irish? Yeah, because, considering they swept the Kings and the AI Sixers got a game. Technically, it's the AI Sixers. I ask you the I ask you the question again. Who is more Who is more competitive? They the swept Sixers? the Kings. You know, they one. They swept them. They swept them. So you, so you, so you think so? Yeah. Make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Who, 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 wait, wait. wait. Who is Who is Who is more competitive? The Nets or the or the um Kings? Now that's where I agree with you. 
Oh my God, yo, this is disgusting. This hey, is Mark, disgusting. You're legendary right now. This you're is disgusting. You, you, this is disgusting. You're, you're moving, you're moving the goal. Right every, the every everything is everything is implied. So I didn't think I was speaking to slow-minded people. So I'll say it again. No, oh, don't do yeah, that. No, 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 If the question is about LeBron, and in 09 and 2010, he didn't even make the finals. We're talking about him competing. How are you going to expect somebody to compete for a finals appearance without having players while competing? Well, they were, they were competing for a finals. They were competing for a finals appearance. Oh, I don't believe so. I know that's that's different. Then I don't. They, were, so. they, they made the conference finals. I don't believe. I think I don't. I never thought to myself at that time that they were better than the um six. I mean South Six. I never thought. So when you so so when you go back to two thousand when you go back to two thousand nine before the playoffs started. I don't. In 07, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it either. LeBron James just won the league. How can you compete for a finals appearance if you made it? Are you really sitting there telling us? You're asking me before they played in Detroit. I did not. Wait, 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 wait. Oh well, then if you want to say, we're going to rewind the clock back to two thousand nine. The Cleveland Cavaliers just won sixty six games. LeBron James just won the league MVP, and he was the Bill second. Think we finished. Bill you Bill honestly gonna sit and say Bill you didn't think that they had a legit shot no. of going to the NBA Finals? No. Is that what so you're K saying? So, K so KG tore his meniscus, and you still said no. I still, no I still thought they would have lost to the Celtics. What? I still thought they would have lost to the Celtics. Super oh, chat, Ron. Super yeah. Chat. Hey Mars, I love you, brother. You cook that nigga heavy, boy. He got I cook. I still hey, bro, I still thought you don't put that on the short run. Something wrong with you, sucker. <laughs> so, Yo, you, so you, so you, so you thought after, wrong, after winning a champion, you thought after winning MVP, you thought you knew for a fact Giannis was going to go to the finals. We do say they were competing. By your point, but, 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 but when they, but when they, but when they lost, when they lost to Miami, what was that then? They underperformed. They were still a team that was going to compete for the finals, and if you disagree, right. I, about I knew, them, I knew. No, every as, as long as they had Eric Bledsoe, I never took that team serious. So no, I did not. I never took that team serious when they had Eric Bledsoe. Okay, okay. okay. But I know basketball. You don't, so that's fine. Hey, Mars, mm -hmm. security. I got you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As long as they had Eric Bledsoe, I never knew they were. I knew they were never going to compete. I knew that. I knew that for a fact. Mm -hmm. Why you keep saying that they weren't going to compete? They were in the Eastern Conference Championship, so they were clearly they, they had, compete. They, they had, they had, they had a. But that's not that, true. That was, they were around away from going to the NBA Championship, so they clearly were competing. Did you, did you to think win the, 20, the NBA Championship? Did you think the 2015 Hawks were competing for a Finals appearance? Yeah, and you. I mean, I mean, the 2015 Hawks? Are you about to compare, you about when to when compare they won, teams when they won, DeMar DeRozan? When they won the 60, when they, but, but, that, but my point is that just making the conference do you, do you, do you mean, mean Do you mean, do you mean the Atlanta Hawks that won 60 games and were 14 games over 500 against the Western Conference and only lost to the Cleveland Cavaliers? Is that the, is that the Atlanta Hawks team you're talking about? Yes. Competing for an NBA yeah. championship? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo, wait, 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 bro. You we, just, we have bro. different. We have different. We have different. Bro, bro, wait. You just. I never thought that team was competing. I never. Wait, look. You just said that making it to a conference finals. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're competing for a finals appearance. No, because if I don't think that you're isn't that near literally close, what that means? That, that's what no. the conference finals is. Competing. If you if you think if you think that, then I guess you're one round away from. That's not what, and that's not what I think. That's not what Bob thinks. That's what I mean. I did, you, did, yeah, you, did, you, I, did you 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 think when Portland you're competing for the finals? Did you did you did you think did you think when Portland when you did you think when Portland got to the conference finals that they actually could compete? In the finals. See now, now you're, you're now, okay. Now you're you do. You tinker no, no. the word. Okay. Why, why, fine. Do you do you make the you, conference you, finals? Oh, are you, are, are you saying that means you are competing for the finals? If you if, they, if, they, if you get if you get you competed for the finals. If you lose, if you score zero points, you competed for the finals. If you if you if you if you you competed for the finals. If you're getting blown out, if you're getting blown out, if you're getting blown out, if you're getting blown out in these games, that's not competitive. All right, guess what? Guess what? If you're in the hundred meter, if you're in the hundred meter sprint at the Olympics and you come last, you still competed for a gold medal. You're in the race. That's what that means. You have a chance We have competed for the finals. We have, than we have 100. We have, we have, you have, we have a different. We have a different standard. Of yeah, you're, you're not, changing not, what the word means. Uh, no, if, if, we're, if, you're, if, you're getting, if you're getting, if you're getting, if you're getting, if you're getting blown out, then that's not. You have if you're, get, if you're getting blown out in these games, that's not competitive. You're not but competing. We, but the that's fact, not, that's not the point. The point is that we've actually got there, so we're in competition to get to the NBA finals. If you got, got smoked by the fact that we got smoked by the Warriors, I don't think that does not. The fact that we got smoked by the Warriors does not mean that we didn't compete to get there. Right. That's the idea. 
Hey, and they did get to get here. Just like the team who lost in the first round. Just like the team who lost in the first round is competing to get there, they just weren't as good as the team who was in a Western Conference championship competing to get there. But they yeah. still competed, Lo. Yes, you Lowe, competed you too. You can, on this hill, you can no, because I don't. Uh, this is just different. If you can compete to get there, but if you're there and you're in the gap between the Warriors and the Blazers is so wide that no one ever believed that they were going to beat them, that's not competitive. Okay, I'm if sorry. you're in, if you're in the conference finals. You're playing for what? To get a shot to, to get to the finals. NBA championship. So that would mean you're competing for what? If you're if you're getting blown out every single game, is that a competitive series? Okay, what, what about before point, the game starts? What about before the game starts? Do you, do you, do you, do you, do you know what competition is? Do you know what competi competition is? What is competition? Wait, wait, Mars, Mars. No, wait, if wait, wait, I wait, am wait, wait. If you, if you going against there, each other. Hey, Ron, he's doing this boy dirty, Before game one, before game one even starts, before anybody gets blown out, before anybody gets blown out, when you have when you have it set, when you know, okay, Miami's in the, Miami's in the East, uh, Miami's in the East versus the Celtics. Yeah. Before before anything happens, anybody gets swept, we know that these two teams are competing for the finals. That's that's all. That's all. And if they get that's smoked, what, that what doesn't if, mean that the. But I, but if you but if before, but, mean they before, mean if, but if before the series even began, if you uh -huh. knew that they had no chance of competing against them, then you know they cannot compete with them. That doesn't mean they that's, weren't competing. Oh, the definition of competing means we're talking about the No, I understand. And I understand what y'all are saying. I understand what y'all are saying. And I understand what y'all are saying. Well. Well. I understand what y'all are saying. So, what's happening is we wasted time and didn't No, no, I understand what y'all are saying. I understand what y'all are saying. I understand what y'all are saying. Shout out to the chat, man. We got 2,300 people in here in the season. I understand what y'all are saying. I understand what y'all are We should have just read Super Chats. That's what we should have done. So I understand what y'all saying. Hey, Mark, I just if, if it's not close, I don't think that's. I, don't I got think you, that's Mark. A, you have any security? I don't think that's competing. If, if y'all are not close, that, but I'm my insecurity. Mark, put that boy in a barbecue grill. Yeah. Lo, you got your ass cooked, Mark. Mark, if Mark, before, Mark, Mark, Mark before, before, before you let take, before you let Tinker be a security, tell him to sign the contract. Mm. You don't, you don't even know if he can properly secure you yet. Man, I'm my own security. I'm my own security. Hey, 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 Sign the contract, hey, please. Pop, that money I'm up. glad you brought that up. Chill, Captain. He always says, if you get swept, you, you get swept, you're nowhere close to winning. Right. You are nowhere close to winning. However, to get there, you still have to compete. That's the point. No. The point is that Wait, they no, to get no. there. No, no, no. What you're saying, no one is saying that he didn't compete to get to the point. That's We're saying point. when you're there, and like you always say, right. if they get swept, they're nowhere near close to winning. Right. So that means that they're not close. That means that there's no there's no competing there. If you get blown out every single game and it's a sweep, bro, you're not close. You're not competing. Does, you're does not that mean, the, but, but, with, but with that being said, did we compete to get to this point? No one is not questioning that you compete. Okay, in the first so that's what that, that's all this was about. Chill no, town. Chill town. What a Lakers close to here? Chill town. The Lakers got swept all the games. Close. Well, the Lakers close to winning the NBA championship. Yeah, the Lakers got swept, but they, every game was close and went down to the wire. So that, does that mean they they wasn't close this year? I don't think that they was close to win. When you get swept, I don't think you close. No, no, to no. Winning. I'm saying, but if every game you is said it. even said if it. even if, even if the game is close, I don't think that you close to winning it. You lose four straight games, you're not close to winning. The Cavs never got swept though, so that's different. Thank you, Mars. The Cavs, the, Cavs, the Cavs got to the conference finals and lost in six in 2000. Well, that's 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 that's, 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 chill. Get, that's chill. chill. No, but that's in the finals. They already they already got. Oh, it's on the conference That's chill. That's chill. Right, if I if I go into a series and I think to myself that there's no way for you to win, I don't. You okay, like well, like like you, this series? How, how I didn't, you, I didn't you, think you, Miami. No, 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 no. That's that's the outcome of the series. No, no, that's 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 me. That's this is this. That's the outcome of the series. But Teams I, aren't I, going into a series I, going. There's I, no I, way for us. I, that's, that's I, I got I got I got to make some movies for chill with chill, bro. So I'm not. Gonna... Me too. Uh, I gotta make some moves before, know, before, before like, chill with like chill too. 15, 15, 16? So at, at fifteen, you thought the caps had no chance. I got a bounce. Yeah, I didn't have. I didn't have a chance. You later, brother. Let me be fair. Right. I didn't have a chance. All right, all right, chat. We gonna see y'all right, later. Tickets. Sign the contract, bro. Oh wait, 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 wait. I, even even now. So when I said when I said that there was no competition for Jokic, that no one in the league at the five position could compete with Jokic, y'all understood that, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Chat. Y'all you know understand what, what competition is. Y'all get it. Not that's not to say that Anthony Davis and Bam were going to try their hardest, but the gap is so wide that he was still going to be able to do what he was going to do. That's the point. 
if the gap is so wide, then there's no need to even discuss. And so, again, going back to the LeBron thing, if I believe that the gap is so wide between whatever Cleveland is building to whatever Boston is going on, what's the point of me staying? That's the point. Hey, Mars, we're the new tag team champions of the world, baby. It goes from you asking about which teams won a championship to then compete for the To then compete for the competition. Oh, I'll admit, if y'all didn't understand it, then I apologize for misspeaking. But the in the premise of it is trying to compete. Like that's the point. Is there that's open the gym today? Tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, low. You got to pull up the open gym tomorrow. I'm gonna pull up on your ass on this. <laughs> well, I can just, I can just, I can just do a low it, nose. I can just do a low nose. Real nose. Yeah. Oh, we. Hey, yeah. I don't give that. We can do a low nose. Yeah, low, low nose Open before low. true or true. Maybe I don't know. I didn't run. The I understand what y'all saying, but I feel like also y'all understand what I'm saying as well. Y'all are just being stubborn, but it's cool. <laughs> Same hey, time Ron. tomorrow, you might get low nose. You might get ticket versus world. You might get we legendary. Hey, baby, hey, hey. You, you ain't got nothing with me. You ain't got nothing with me. Hey, hey you, 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 you this, might get hey, Mars. something, Mars. I don't know. This Mars, this one right here was your shining jewel, man. When you know what's so thing, nasty? You, you know what's so nasty? As soon as we cut this stream off, Mars is gonna agree with me. That's a nasty part. That's crazy. <laughs> no, he nasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. 